Ladies and gents, welcome to the Super Sunday show live from Manchester Airport. What an aircraft to start the stream on the Ethiopian A350 just arriving right in front of us here at the RVP. And of course, we have Matt Cam Smith and just pushing back on the apron is the Gulf Air, which is on the way out as well, guys. As you can see, the apron is absolutely jumped packed full of planes guys so this is going to be a crazy crazy show welcoming super sunday show live on airliners live as the finna arrives in from helinski <laughs> and uh, welcoming everybody hope you're all doing well let's get some names in the chat mr loopy jeanette mckenzie hello wayne carl Crawford, neil jeanette jeanette's had two shout outs john russell one, two, three, four, Nick's Carnival videos, Malcolm Lewis, Sam Donison. Hi, guys. Beautiful. It's all go. It's all go. What a time to start the show. Eh? Super, Super Sunday. Sunday pushing back as well, this is it. Super Sunday, all right. Welcome in, folks. Let's get some names in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, very good morning to you guys. Remember, it's A380 pushing back on stand. The Ethiopian A350 we've seen earlier is actually an hour late coming in, so usually we that's long gone by the time we get here. Sometimes if we arrive here, crack of dawn, as the gate's open for the RVP, that plane's already in. So it's quite fortunate to see it. Also got a bit of an unusual plane to see. Buzz. 737 Max 8200 coming in. Hey, Malky, thank you very much. Kicking the show off, gifting an Airliners Live membership that's gone to Big Red. Cheers, Malky. This is actually a divert. It was actually bound for East Midlands Airport. All right. Coming in from Krakow. So it's gone a little bit further to come up here to Manchester. Whether there's an issue with East Mids or not, I'm not sure. If anyone in the chat knows, let us know. Mr. Matt Smith, how's your weekend going, Sunshine? How you doing, mate? All right? Buzzing, Everyone mate. okay this morning? Yeah, you had a good show on uh, Friday, mate. Ah, uh, mate, another cracking show. Just like to say thanks to everyone for, for the support again. Everyone seems to be really liking these uh, Friday shows, and everyone enjoyed having Captain Mark on on Friday. Seemed like a decent show. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, cheers, Mark, again. Thanks very much for joining. Legend. Buzz, the Polish subsidiary of Ryanair. A Mr. English golfer, returning 17 months, premium economy member. It's my birthday today. Cake hey. for everybody. Let's get some happy birthdays in the chat. Nice. Mr. English golfer. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. And uh, shove us a wide on that, Matt, and we'll uh, switch over to a jet. Two holidays, 737, which is just currently pushing back on the apron on Matt Camp. This is awesome. Just going to throw my gloves on. It's a little bit chilly out today. A little bit. Yeah, very happy birthday, mate. Hope you have a great day today. Heli Piler, hey, mate. How are you doing? Love your streams. Love your streams. I'm uh, still not brave enough to fly a helicopter on vaccine, though. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Have you flown on, on, on the sim in the, any helis? Yeah, I've been flying the H160, mm. um, and it's really good fun. Really nice, uh, really nice helicopter from High Performance. Uh, an awesome team behind uh, some amazing helicopters for the sim. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, I've done a few flights in it, actually. So I, I flew in and out of Barton a few times, uh, went down to the London heliport and stuff, and did the return, which was quite cool. And yeah, Transat AT21 Neo on the way to Toronto, of course. And, uh, guys, feel free to have a look at your radars because 
it's jam-packed, full of planes. It's, uh, I don't know if everyone's just decided they all want to go on holiday today, but it's a uh, very, very good start to the show. They were all waiting for the Super Sunday show. There you go. It was actually quite quiet when we were setting up as well, so, and now it's just come to life, so good timing. And uh, KLM on the roll out to Amsterdam. Anyone in the sim? Anyone tried the new uh, Ini builds A320 Neo in the brand new beta for the sim update? Is that what Fezza did the, the video of? Yeah. Yeah. Yet to watch that video. goes Dutch Pride. Something blue in the sky for a change. There you go, the Emirates. A380 on the uh, apron about to depart to Dubai. It's actually a really good spot right there. It's pretty central on the old uh, apron when it comes to runway access. King of the Skies when he has a short taxi out to potentially 2-3 right or 0-5, sorry, 2-3 left or even 0-5 left to be fair. I'm not sure if they're still there, but I know Etihad recently in the last sort of few months moved from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. And here at Manchester, T1 is definitely the, the subpar terminal. Uh, T1 and 3 are both uh, not very modern, <laughs> shall we say. So that surprised me. But I think logistics-wise, Terminal 1 and Terminal 3 are very close to the runway. Terminal 2 is quite a ways away. Quite a big taxi. So for the airlines, it's actually really good being at Terminal 1 and Terminal 3 because that just quick access to the, the runway. Hey, Jeanette, thank you so much for gifting uh, five Airliners Live memberships wow. to the community this morning. Going to Lord Zoo Travel, Mark Jones, Lisa Barlow, Gareth Jones, Simon Lonslow, all receiving gifted memberships there. Thank you so much for that. Cheers. Really appreciate it. I've got a uh, clean shaven again as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the other day. You had another go? Yeah, it's <laughs> attempt to. You know, because it got to the point where it was already... It was a, it was back to being a beard again. I was like, do I really want to go down this avenue again? I'm tempted to get, like, a beard trimmer and kind of situate it somewhere in the stubble region. Yeah, I tried that for a while, and... Yeah. I like the clean shave look. Like, I think I'm, like, I'm with you where it's quite a nice routine. And it's good for your skin as well. It, well, I don't know if that's official, but for my skin, it definitely comes out quite nice when I clean shave. Yeah, I must admit, I, I prefer just zipping it, letting it grow and then zipping it. Gulf Air Flight 4 heading off to Bahrain, 787-9 Dreamliner. Beautiful gold engines and tail. One of the newest airlines at Manchester, this. Only started in the last year or so. Beautiful gold engines. On those flexi wings. Very pretty, right? Hey, device tuning in from Zurich. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for getting involved today. If you are brand new, ladies and gentlemen, please get involved in the chat. We'd love to welcome you in to the Airliners Live community as we uh, bring you all the aviation action here from Manchester and designate tuning in on Twitch. Welcome to you. Hello. Heavy jets, the best a man can get, says uh, Mikey. <laughs> Where, where are you spotting from? Asks Qantas 747. Manchester Airport's Runway Visitor Park. We've been streaming here for many, many years now. And it's probably the best spot for Runway 1 action at Manchester. And that is what they are using a lot of the time in, during the winter months. Uh, the whole of today's show will be single runway operations. 2-3 right, it looks like. Doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. It's a nice... Headwind for the planes coming in. Tell you what, Henry's show last night, really, really good. And I particularly really enjoyed the KLM A330. 
You don't see many of them. I don't know. When I was at um, Schiphol and stuff, you see more, more the Dreamliners, the Triples. They're, they're pretty common, yeah. especially with like KLM Asia and stuff. But the 330s, they, they look really good in the KLM livery. I know KLM have a couple. I don't know how many still in service. A good handful of 747s still in, in service as well. But they are KLM Cargo these days. Um, and, you know, another airline that did have the Queen of the Skies operating passengers fairly recently, but I've uh, since stopped that. And the King of the Skies starting its taxi as well. A really good start to today's show. Hope you're all enjoying it so far. If you've not done so already, click that like button, guys. Let's give the show a good boost as we... Uh, Begin some aviation action for the next few hours here from Manchester Airport. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you, folks. Yeah, that um, Buzz 737 has just uh, facilitated one of the stands at uh, Terminal 3. I'm going to try and zoom in on that and see what's going on. Um, did anyone in the chat put why? No. Ian New, thank you so much for gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community going to Papa Kilo. Thanks very much, Ian, for that. And uh, the Flying Architect returning for 32 months of jump seat membership. So not long before getting that Wookiee badge. Watching in Leeds with Rach and Ollie before we head out to football. Nice. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Mizam, hello. Great to see you. Thank you very much. And Flying Peacocks, thanks for returning for six months. Of membership saying great community it makes it seem longer. Thank you very much, Flying Peacocks. Great to have you with us today. I haven't played football in so long. I used to love playing that back back in school days and stuff. I was a mint goalie back in the day. Was you? Yeah. Used to be pretty good at the old dives and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I used to just end up in goal, I think, because I wasn't very good anyway. <laughs> I think that was the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> It was either that or defence. I like defence. Yeah. Just like booting the ball off people like, oh, that's mine now. I was I was all right on the wing, to be fair. I yeah. I wasn't too bad on the old right wing. Yeah. Because I was quite fast when I was younger. Right. So that kind of helped me out a bit. Um, but I must admit, I, I didn't get to play much football. In our school, I don't know if it was the same in your school, but in our school, all the big bully guys were the ones who were in charge of the football pitch, and it was their football as well. Right. So if they didn't like you, mate, <laughs> you were not getting to play. Like, <laughs> just be so, yeah, I kicked the ball about twice in the six years. Of the <laughs> 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 oh, gosh. Yeah, right. We, we had, like, a quite a common, you know, every lunch we'd, we'd go out to this big AstroTurf pitch and boot the ball around, and, <clears throat> yeah, I was a... Uh, just sat in goal because I guess when you're in goal you're not doing much a lot of the game as well yeah <laughs> you get to chill shout at people but no these days I don't know there's a few sports that are, that are fun these days obviously uh, I've been getting into rock climbing bouldering I think the name is officially oh yeah yeah that, that's a lot of fun that is so, so strenuous on all the muscles. <laughs> that is so, so much hard work. Here we go. Chat two seven thirty seven. Warming the runway up before the King of the Skies takes off. This is heading off to Arecife in Lanzarote. Boeing seven thirty seven eight hundred series Golf Juliet Zulu Bravo Charlie on the reg. Bit of an early start. I think we've been doing nine a.m. starts for. a Good month or so now. Good couple of weeks. <clears throat> we just tend to these days get here when the RVP opens and and uh, just go from there. As Captain Mark mentioned yesterday, Jet 2 don't own... Oh, sorry, they do own their own engines. So 
they're pretty uh, incentivized to go easy on them. And as a result, that means that they don't use super high thrust on the takeoff and subsequently means that they use a lot of runway. <coughs> You'll probably find that the A380 will probably use less runway than that. Sometimes the, the king of the skies takes off super quick. <coughs> Rain is starting to fall here. I wonder how long this will last. Yeah, I must admit, when I was uh, driving down, it was it was dribbling a little bit. Yeah. Seems like it rains every show. Like it's very rare that we have a show these days that it doesn't rain. Yeah. There you go, Gulf Air Dreamliner heading back to Bahrain. Lovely aircraft, that. Great addition to Manchester Airport. I'll wait the rain out a little bit and see if it eases up. I don't think, just looking at the clouds and that, it doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. I shouldn't watch this, I need a holiday. Yeah, us too. We've just been so busy with um, Airliners Live the last few months now. We've not even, like, considered going abroad or anything. I think yeah. for us, we're going to have to wait till the new year at this point. Because now it's kind of all, all go now. It's you got Christmas next month and New Year's. It's just crazy, isn't it, how quick this year's gone? Yes. And then, obviously, we've got the, uh, the push to, to 1 million subscribers, which seems to be coming around pretty quick. Stand by. I'm going to throw this on before the king takes off, I think. Would be wise. That was a shame. I was quite enjoying the uh, the new rain for... How long did we last? 20 minutes? Yeah. There you go. Welcome to our world, folks. Although you guys watching, hopefully you're nice and dry. Warm, cosy. And uh, where's that flipping? That was it. As you can see, a couple of aircraft pushed back on Mat Camp, a Tui Max, and the Scandinavian. You okay? Yeah. They'll be uh, heading out shortly. Nice, busy apron. Did you end up on the uh, the second level, Matt? Or are you on the top? Um, I didn't even chance the top level, mate. I've checked the weather this morning. I didn't even risk it. When you've gone full send it to the bottom, yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. I'm on level 10 at the minute, mate. Yep, I weren't chancing it. I looked at the weather forecast and I thought, yep, I know where I'm going to be this morning. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to come out of nowhere, that, hasn't it? Picture looking okay up here, yeah? Everything lovely, looking yeah. okay? Yeah, lovely, mate. Nice look. Lovely. Hey, Nigel Roscoe, thank you so much, mate. Returning for 25 months, first-class membership. Morning, chaps, it's Sunday already. I've seen you drawing a short straw with the rain there. Where's the double act of Mark and Matt get the sun? <laughs> I know, it's, uh, as I was driving down this morning, I, I uh, like I say, it started raining a little bit, and I was just like, the world knows, man. It knows we're going live, and it's gonna, it's just going <laughs> to rain. I think that's... That's us for the winter, I think. But yep. we make the most of it. It gives us some nice spray action and stuff like that. So we'll, uh, we'll see we'll how we go. We don't let it stop us. Sun's just made an appearance in Teesside, has it? Okay, <laughs> No, he's... Uh, what are used to us, that? Oh, no. <laughs> Bit of a queue forming down the end at Juliet 1. The king is first, though. So let's just wait in for the arrival of the uh, Scandinavian in from Copenhagen, which I assume is going to take the stand of the one that's just uh, 
Just push back on Matt Camp. Yeah, good possibility there, yeah. I'm actually flying the Embraer for a change, Scandinavian. And it's in that new scheme as well. Down here, stand by, shot. Get your waders on. <laughs> <laughs> Scandinavian Embraer in that new livery, looking really, really nice. Yeah, the Neo's just started its taxi as well now, so. Nice. Sorry, the 320, sorry. I wonder if the King of the Skies is going to start moving yet. I think he is. But I do want to get a nice close up shot of this first. Very, very pretty Embraer. E195. That's Swedish designated as well. Wow, that is something else. That Embraer does look great in the new scheme. Yeah, very nice. Nice blue stripe on the engine cowling. Very, very pretty. smaller aircraft than the A320 Neo in terms of passenger capacity, but looks just as good. Tiny engines also in Ecto Lounge. Yeah, they are, aren't they? And it's A380 lining up, guys. What a great start to the show. If you're enjoying it, smash that like button for us, guys. Welcome into Airliners Live. Great to have you all with us. Appreciate you watching. There is a, an aircraft already departing. Didn't notice. Austrian Embraer. King of the Skies, next takeoff. Emirates A380, off 23 right here at Manchester. Yeah, the rain is rain is coming down now. It is, isn't it? We'll make for some nice spray shots, though. Especially for the next A380 to land at Manchester. Usually comes in between 11 and 12 a.m. at Manchester. Sometimes earlier, actually. Tony's breakfast box has arrived. Oh, oh nice. Hey. Let us know what's in that, Tony. Nice bit of sausage and egg. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit camera shy, this A380. <laughs> yeah, holding up for some reason. <laughs> Cheers, Riley. Great to have you with us. Lights on. Sounds like it's going to be loud.
Real growl from the blades there. That sounded really nice. Giving it a bit more power to climb above the weather front. That was cool. Try that number four cable and it's all for us. What's that mean? The external one. It's it's buzzing like nuts when you pan. Uh, Vision thing, thanks very much for the 38 months left hand turn for the A380 today, actually. It's uh, something to keep an eye on. Yeah, cheers for the continued support, my guy. Thank you very, very much. Let's try that. And as we see, a lot of uh, aircraft now on the way out to depart, so plenty of departures coming up on the channel. Yeah, it's really busy. I can't see the chat at the moment, folks. I apologise. Just because uh, everything's drenched already, but including me. <laughs> <laughs> Do have another Jet 2 pushing back on Matt Cam there. As you can see, the apron soaking wet through. Gorgeous reflections on there as well. I've I mean, got a feeling this is going to be a really good show. Yep. I am. Feels like one of them shows already. It's going to be all right for me underneath this cover. <laughs> 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 Mate, if anyone's got radar open, who can count how many planes are pinging up on that radar at the moment? That is the busiest I've seen the airport in ages. Yeah. Got a, got a second Jet 273 ready for push as well. Have um, you? Yeah. Uh, there's a Jet 2 on the taxi already. Uh, 2-8 in the old scheme on the way out, a 273. All sorts happening, Mick. All sorts. Nice. Awesome. As you can see, the apron uh, is looking nice and busy, and as is the taxiway there on the way down to Juliet. 14 aircraft pinging, according to Tony. And Nige saying that that A380 is on an unusual departure. Yeah, making a left turn out. Usually we see it make a, a right-hand turn. Yeah, something unusual about that. And there's a uh, very drab-looking 2E73. I do love 2E, but... Yeah, their paint schemes are certainly something to be desired. <laughs> yes. I assume the King of the Sky is probably just taking a, a departure that avoids some of the nasty weather, I guess. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? And another Jet 273 tug just disconnected. Looks like it's uh, about to start its taxi as well. Danny saying, sat on the Jet 2330, set to leave at 9.55 to Lanzarote. Uh, I'm yeah, yeah, on okay. the fifth window back from the front. Okay. Which, you need to get your okay. torch out, out of the window. And are you on the left or the right? Yeah. Let us know. Torch is out of the window. Keep my done. Don't worry, mate. Great work on the, uh, the old illustrations as well, as usual. Ah, oh, mate, the Jet 275 one was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Really good. He's flying on the A330 as well. Pretty nice plane. I think with Jet 2, anything in their fleet except for the 73, I think is fine. The 737, I don't know what it is about that config that they use, but it does feel very claustrophobic on board that plane. <laughs> you're all squashed in there. Another plane lining up as well. This time an easy jet. I'm sat on the right. I booked it intentionally so I could wave at you guys. Nice one. Well, yeah, like I say, get your torch on your phone because that's the best, uh, the best way for us to spot you. Yeah, I'm hyped. Hope you have a great flight. Have a lovely holiday. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> is that what they say? I think it is. 
Who says that? Everyone in Jetsu. Oh. <laughs> Everyone you speak to. It's like a cult. <laughs> And they say it in that voice as well. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's got to be done in that voice. All oh, right. They do go above and beyond Jet 2, though, on, on the staff. You know, I, I don't think any other airline these days has the presence in the airport terminal that Jet 2 have. You know, you, there's people everywhere in these red red shirts, red jackets, all uh, happy to help out wherever possible. Which is quite nice, especially when you're travelling as a family as well. Kind of eliminates a lot of the stressful part of the travel. Having people to ask questions to and point you in the right direction. Jet to heaven at the moment. <laughs> it is. A shot there, you know. That was nice, wasn't that it? That looks better than the nose shots, I think. Yeah. I was seeing cool. all the power of the aircraft as it rotates off. Yeah, it's ideal for Jet 2 because using a little bit more runway. <coughs> and uh, next to arrive, a Ryanair in from Krakow and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six aircraft waiting to depart. We do have the airliner's live livery as well, just uh, on the apron <laughs> there with Matty Roy Smith. I love that. Just a nice airliner's live logo on the sail there. It'd look 10 out of 10, I think. Yeah, that is exactly how the livery should look. Mate, it's funny <coughs> how similar that is to that little aircraft uh, photo booth we made. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> a live. <laughs> You've hit 500 likes, says Maths with me. Thank you very much, dude. Well, Maths with me, if you can double that, that'd be, uh, that'd be <laughs> awesome. What would that equal? <laughs> right now, leaving some ribbons behind as well off that edge of the flaps. Yes. Wow. Another Buzz aircraft, Polish designated. Sierra Papa on the reg. It's really dark now at Manchester Airport. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Looks much brighter on the camera. Very moody. No sign of that buzz yet. The Max A200 that came in on a diversion. Big spray there.
Really busy here at Manchester. There's always something waiting to take off or landing. Get to in the dot com scheme. Taxi out, 7.37. <coughs> It looks like on map cam there's another Jet 2 737 waiting to push back. Tug connected. Yeah. It's all happening. It is, isn't it? Yeah. To Budapest. Or well, the wing of the Ryanair is going on. <laughs> and a split scimitar winglet's looking pretty s smart on the uh, 800 series. It's funny, you can tell when Andy starts to get nosy because he's like, oh, just let me have a quick look at that winglet. <laughs> <laughs> Being a bit selfish. <laughs> I want to see the winglet, guys. <laughs> Caleb is touching down from Amsterdam, mate. I, they they're busy enough for dual runways here at the moment. I know. They could definitely do with a quick hour just to clear don't, this backlog. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> no, listen, Manchester Airport. I, I don't mind. You know what I mean? I'm all right. Yeah, you're doing great on single runway. Obviously. Yeah, you're doing a grand job. Yeah, I think you're doing a ten out of ten job. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> hey, KLM seven three seven seven hundred. Looks like. Don't see many of nice these. stumpy one. Yeah. Wow, look at that, folks. Looks photoshopped. Because sometimes they said in the 900s, like the difference between them two. It's crazy. Oh, the wind really picking up as well. Reflection City. I love it. I love that. Abdul tuning in from Mozambique. Wow. Welcome in. Nearly 2,000 watching, really? Wow. Hello. Hi, everyone. Yeah, thank you for uh, the update there, Susie. I appreciate you uh, sharing uh, the streams on uh, the old Twitteroonies. Yeah, thank you very much. And Dynamic Duo uh, saying, just 1080 today. No worries, uh, but I just thought my telly was broke. No, <laughs> nobody's telly is broke. We've been recommended to try it for a show. Um, and just see how much difference there is. Um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we were having a good chat uh, with the guys at LiveView, and um, they just said, uh, well, are you curious? So we are. <laughs> so there we go. Is it coming through as 50 frames per second as well? Well, for some reason, it's saying 1080 60 on YouTube. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm yeah. not sure if that's just a YouTube thing, but it is 1080 50, which is double the frame rate. At what we usually stream at. Yeah. Uh, we're just curious as to. I'll tell you in a second. Mate, sounds like a fighter jet. Mate, these planes are sounding nuts today. Yeah, so um, we're actually just curious, guys, um, as to whether doubling the frame rate will have as good of an effect as up in the resolution and um, without trying it we'll never know um so we're giving it a go but like i say it's it's not uh anything that's going to be on every single show we just thought we'd give it a go on one show yep um but let us know how it looks uh, for you guys at home we'd love to know 
Uh, but yeah, don't panic. It's uh, it's not your uh, it's not an issue you're in, guys. Jet two seven three pushing back on Matt Cam. Rain has started falling again. Lovely. I'm have to get my raincoat. I don't even have my raincoat on. This isn't waterproof, so I don't know why I I, I assumed it'd be dry. It did stop for a, about a minute or two then. <laughs> yeah, it did brighten up for a few minutes, didn't it? Yeah, but now it's back to heavy rain. But, like I said, it makes for a much more entertaining show. Seems to be zooming really quick, this camera, at the moment. You know what? It, I wonder if it's the 1080. Yeah. It used to like have a bit of a delay when you press the button. Now it's just... Push, push, push. I think there might be um, a higher setting for the... Uh, Zoom. IBS as well. The yeah. 1080. Oh, yeah, I already have that turned up. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, so it looks smoother as well on the, on the panning. Yeah, it should do. I think it restricts that in 4K, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, as we say, guys, this isn't something that's going to stay really for every show. Uh, we're just curious more than anything. So if you can give us one show to be curious. And uh, I've been watching it on my phone, actually. I think it looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. And Matt saying I didn't even notice it was only 1080. Yeah, I think a lot of people, unless we actually mentioned it, probably wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, because, well, Matt, Matt's show on, yes, uh, yesterday, on Friday was actually only in 1080p. I don't think a single person commented on it, and I was watching it, and it looked 10 out of 10. Yeah. So I'm just curious how... There, there is a bit of science behind it, and maybe I can just touch on that. I think so. Let's see, see, so departs. Yeah, when it comes to live streaming, we are kind of limited by the bandwidth we could possibly do with our encoder. And that's about, we usually sit around 15, 16,000, uh, or 16, 15 megabits per second, um, which is pretty quick. That's like fiber optic speeds. But um, with um, 4K, it'll go up to that. But 1080p, you'll sit around 10,000 kilobits per second. And 4K obviously is like four times the resolution, but you're only getting like 50% more bitrate. So in theory, you've seen it back in the Twitch days when people would like actually downscale their resolution. Didn't they do like 900 960 they used to do. Yeah, because it actually create a more clearer image. And that's kind of the logic today is you're actually, in essence, getting a clearer image, especially, um, you know, on like a 1080 display. It's only really maybe a 4, 4K display. You might notice the difference, but that's it's still going to be really sharp and really clear. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get less artifacts, less uh, noise, less less all this, that, the other. More clarity. And um, the recommended bit rates for YouTube, we're actually at the very top end of 1080p, whereas in 4K, we're at the very bottom end. Right, yeah. Of what they asked for. So yeah. So they recommend, I think, between for 1080, 50, they recommend between six and 10k on the bit rate. Yeah. And we're we're forcing at 10k. Um, whereas with YouTube 4k, they recommend between 13 and 20. And obviously we're sat in the middle there. So that's why we were curious um, because we were doing quite a bit of research into things like the the bit rate and whether a higher frame rate would make a better difference. And then obviously you've got to, like we really are getting technical here, but you have got a factor in YouTube's compression as well. And when you're on 1080p, it uses um, a different codec to when you're on 4K. It's There's a lot of different 
moving parts and it's about finding the right balance between each of those parts and until we try it we're never going to know but we were just very very curious that if we can max out 1080p at 50 frames a second at their max ingest bit rate how much different would it look mm. to 4k so that's that's what we're doing we're just tinkering guys is probably the honest answer to you we're just having a bit of a tinker today and we're just uh, seeing See how it looks. Uh, but Tony, thank you very much for gifting five airliners live memberships. Going to Mizam, Jason Bailey, uh, Marlene Joy, Russell Tinker, and our hacker all receiving uh, gifted memberships. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, we always are striving to improve things here on the channel. So, quality wise, audio wise, whatever wise, yeah. we're always changing things. You guys know. And Richard saying it'd be good to test on a clear day as well. Quite hard to determine when the visibility is poor. Absolutely, mate. Exactly. I mean, we did not expect this heavy rain, I'll be honest, dude. Yeah, it's not, not nice. I but think... yes, we probably will give it another test on a clear day as well. But I think it's good every now and again to have a bit of a tinker and a bit of a play with things, and you don't learn unless you try. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to quickly run and grab my raincoat because I'm, I'm drenched. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stand by. Yeah, enjoy those gifted memberships, guys. Thank you all for getting involved today. Plenty of action on the apron as well with that Jet 2, with the beacon on, ready to go. So uh, that should be taxiing out very shortly. Welcome to everyone tuning in on Twitch as well. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome, Twitch crew. Thank you for getting involved. Don't forget to check them Twitch primes, guys. You may have one available if you'd like to support the channel. And that brown, he's just peg-legging it out the door there. I think he's left it in his car. Etihad Triple on uh, MatCam as well, looking absolutely banging. So what's your plan this uh, this weekend, Matty boy? Oh, that's... That is, every time I ask Matt a question, I never check my phone first to see if he's still there. Should we ring him live on stream, guys? Stand by. <laughs> he texts me going, I think you cut me off. <laughs> Here he is. Hello. Hi. Nice triple. Hi, yeah. And retro as well. Yeah, lovely that triple, isn't it, mate? Yeah, really My good. plans for this weekend, mate, rest of the day. Uh, I know Heidi's cooking a beef while I'm down Shouldn't here. Doing so a beef fishing today? Mate. Yeah, beef roast. Sounds Perfect like day for it, innit, for a beef roast. Yeah, bit of, uh, bit of beef and veg and a few Yorkshire's on there, Matty boy. Roast. A few roasters and that, mate. A few roasters. You know, well done, roasters. Got to be well done, on that. Sounds like a good plan to me, that, mate. Ian yeah, saying, so I, I bought... I going to go back kick... Ian bought a 4K Chromecast this week, so it makes sense. Sorry, Ian. I know there are people who um, do really love watching in 4K. I like I say, it's not going to be something that stays, but today we're just going to do a little tinker, mate, if you don't mind. Uh, Akers 79 I brand that, new. I didn't like, I, yeah. the, odd people, the odd people who've got the tellies and stuff, mate, they were the only people I think have actually noticed the, big, yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. difference, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just curious to see how it looks when I get home, I think. Absolutely, yeah. Try things, going to try things, mate. And uh, as if by magic, we've just had a brand new subscriber to the channel after Matt's uh, dinner talk, uh, Yorkshire Pud. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, give that guy mod. <laughs> Akers79, thank you very much for the premium economy membership as well. Thank you very much, dude. Big Reds on uh, corn, beef, hash and dumplings. Oh, oh get it. Hey, that's a good dinner. You know what? You know what? Uh, Mrs. Airliners Live does with a bit of corned beef hash. You need to put in a couple of spoons of sweet onion chutney in it. Mix that up. Trust me, you won't regret it. Absolutely awesome. I'm the dumpling king, though, me mate. I make the best dumplings in the world, though. Mate, I love a good dumpling, me Hands Matt. Down. Absolutely love a good mate. dumpling, me. I know. Just getting pushed to stand here. Yeah. And as Martin mentioned, you're getting a bit of a little bit of reflections
Beautiful shot. Wow. Heinen being pulled onto stand. And uh, Slipstream, welcome in. Thank you very much for getting involved. And uh, Jared Merck, thank you very much for using your Twitch Prime on the channel, putting us to 93 subs towards our sub goal on Twitch. Thank you, guys. And uh, Silent Streamer, thank you very much, mate. Glad you're enjoying the content today as well. And the Ryanair departing out to Brussels. Awesome stuff. And the Heinen pulling on to stand there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love the Heinen A330. So, this airliner's live plane that's going around. What's the deal with that? Is that doing a uh, charter flights or? Uh, do you know? I think Matt? he's doing the cruise, doing the cruise charters, cr cruise charters. I think. They... Wow, is that on behalf of an airline or is it something? Um, I think it might be on, on something to do with P&O. I could be could be mistaken, but I think it's something to do with P&O for his. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I can just see that buzz, Max as well. Looks like it's just been pushed back over at Terminal Three. Nice. That's awesome. Philip just said, look, training them young. My not so old 12 year old daughter is actually going to try herself making a chicken curry tonight from scratch. Ah, cooking yes, proper is. rice as well. Mate, wow. that is cool. Like, got some yeah, pictures dude. in the VIP lounge, Philip, of the, uh, the finished dinner yeah. there, mate. Nice. Hey, nice. I think that's. I think that's really good. I've said it before on stream um, that our mum and dad used to get us cooking when we were younger, and it used to do our heading because you just want. I just want to play me games. I just want to yeah. do this. But now <laughs> it's, it's just good, you know, being able to cook and just being able to just look after yourself with proper dinners because there's so many people. Really, really age appreciate them making you do that. Well, that's it. It's like there's a lot of people our age who can't cook. You know what I mean, and I think it's I think it is really important. Yeah, avoid the super noodles and yeah, <laughs> baked beans. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of departures here at Manchester Airport. It's nice and busy. Don't forget, folks, to hit the like button as well. That's super important that you do that. Let's try and hit a thousand likes, shall we, during the show? I'm sure there's more than a thousand tuned in anyway, so if we all hit the like button, it goes a long way. My dad says, "Don't. How do you not remember us cooking? You, you used to get me and Abby cooking paellas, bolognese, chili, <laughs> everything." <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I cooked much as a kid and, and when, it, when I you know grew up it became kind of awkward especially going to university and that because it's like I have no idea like I just stick to the things that are easy to make yes. whereas curries and that like they sound complicated but they're not that hard to make you know if you know how, how to do it now last night I made a, a bolognese and it's like obviously that's like day one cooking in it a bolognese but yeah. if you actually spend the time on it it can be so nice you know you, yeah. have, you have to spend the time cooking one if you rush it it's a bit bag of rice but yeah if you spend a bit of time on a bolognese it's 
such a nice dinner. Do you make the sauce, or do you normally just get like? Uh, well, we actually get the packet mix powder. Oh yeah. Rather than buying the sauce, I don't really like buying the sauce. Yeah, I don't. Think you dreamt it? Ask Abby. Abby will tell you. <laughs> He's not convinced. <laughs> I don't know how he can't remember. Why don't you get Abby on the call now? <laughs> Just live call her in. <laughs> I guess she's uh, off work at the moment. Yeah, the she's... Um, yeah, she's... Luckily for her, um, her partner Travis is, um, is is putting a lot of work in, a lot of overtime and stuff, so that Abby can obviously have the time off. She needs the time off, obviously, because it's uh, it's a brand new baby. But yeah, no, she's doing really well, mate. She was uh, posting pictures yesterday. She's out because a few of her friends her age have got babies as well, which I think is really good for her because they can all kind of. Um, go out together and stuff because I think when you have a baby it can be quite lonely if you're there by yourself because it's just you and the baby and the, yeah um, but like I say because she's got mates and stuff um, that have got a baby as well I think it's really good they kind of like go out on little mum and daughter dates and stuff which is quite cool that's great yeah oh nice Tony yeah that's a good one Urini ATR 72. Nice early takeoff. Already way in the sky now. Heading back down to Guernsey. Wow, she climbed fast. I think it's the Ryanair Buzz that's going out next. This will be a, quite a good catch because these are super rare in Manchester these days. There was a bit of a period where they were fairly common. But, I mean, the last time I seen a Buzz in Manchester was good, a good few months ago, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm talking about the Buzz livery. I know we get the actual Buzz subsidiaries all the time. But obviously, Ryanair use uh, a lot of the buzzers, the NGs, the 800 series, they'll be in the classic Ryanair colours. You're buzzing. You're buzzing. He's buzzing. That B on the tail's buzzing. <laughs> 10 out of 10 design. I'm not 100% sure why they have their own livery, though. Not 100% sure. Like, surely it'd make more sense just to keep it in the Ryanair colours. Really not sure. Because if anything, it just makes it a little bit more confusing because when you book a flight with Buzz, you're not booking a flight with Buzz. You're booking a flight with Ryanair. There, there is no Buzz. There's, there's no website. There's no. There's nothing. Yeah, it's very strange, isn't it? it? only exists on the airplane's livery. Have a good day at work, Ian. Thank you for tuning in, mate. Thanks for supporting the channel as well earlier on. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, all well, your support goes to help covering the costs of these live streams including the multi-cam setup that we have today. Multi-location as well. Yeah, the best way to support the show is by gifting memberships. That supports the community and it also supports the channel a lot as well. And you can do that by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking gifted memberships. You guys on Twitch can help us hit the sub goal if you can. Help support the channel or give some memberships on Twitch as well. And uh, if you want to support us for free, you can do that by clicking the like button and getting involved in the chat. But uh, we really do appreciate all your support. It does help cover the cost of the streams. And uh, as you can see, tons of planes still to go here on uh, on the main apron. Yeah, loving it. And the Buzz aircraft just starting its roll. Morning, Jill. Hope you're doing well. Hello. Jill says these 9 a.m. starts are no good to me on a Sunday. Jill, when my air, when my alarm goes off at 6.30, it's no good to me either. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the winter. Oh, 
Hey, and Chrissy B, thank you very much for gifting an airliner's live membership to the community. Really appreciate that. I wonder what that is. that going off to East Mids now, or where's that off to? Or I might just go back to somewhere in Poland. I haven't got radar open at the moment. It's a little, it's a little bit too wet for that. It's heading to East Mids. Is it? Nice. Short flight. Do you know why it diverted? Mike just saying that it diverted in as well. Yeah. Yeah, not sure why. A bit strange. Uh, it's not like... It could have been medical, but, I mean, it doesn't really make much sense because it would have actually had to go a little bit further to get to Manchester. You never know. And uh, Jeanette, thank you so much. Gifting an airliner's live membership to the community. Gifting five, actually. Thank you very much, Jeanette. Really appreciate that. And uh, Jane Chu, also gifting an airliner's live membership. Good to see you, Jane. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much, both of you, for supporting the channel today. Really helps a lot. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, this, this rain does not look like it's going to stop for a while. It's literally just everywhere you look, it's just damp for miles. I oh, know. I was very foolish arriving here with uh, no waterproof coat on. <laughs> it's that time of the year where I'm just throwing everything in the boot of the car. Yeah. So you, you're ready for everything. Well, he's coat. And your the support this morning, guys, has put us to 20 new members so far on today's show. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the stream as well. And uh, Dion, thank you very much uh, for getting involved um, and joining the stream today. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Dan's being pushed back here, guys. Dan's being pushed back off uh, the pier at T2, yeah. Oh, yes. nice. Get yeah. 2-3-30. He was on the right-hand side, wasn't he? He is, yeah. From the front, yeah, five, yeah. Sweet. So, Sam, yesterday, by the way, folks, any US viewers or Canadian viewers, a bit of a Thanksgiving vibe. She was in the kitchen yesterday baking um, some pumpkin pie using some of the materials that we actually brought back from the States uh, a good few months ago now. And I tried it last night. It is so good. Pumpkin pie slaps. I don't know why it's not a thing over here in the UK, because we have an abundance of pumpkins, don't we, every, every sort of fall, every autumn. But she's made some extra ones as well, so uh, Matt's got some, Martin's got some to take home with him. Oh, yeah. They're really nice with cream, I'll tell you that. Ice cream? Ice cream do the trick? Ice cream works fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as we were in uh, the States back in uh, September, oh, that spray. As we were in the States, though, back in September, the pumpkin pies, because they're seasonal, they were only just starting to uh, surface in the shops. Like, uh, I think we found one in HEB, which is one of the big supermarket chains there. And maybe we caught one in Walmart as well. Maybe, I think. They are delicious. Genuinely don't know why they don't really exist in the UK. Right now, arriving in from Belfast. Nice short flight. Didn't know they flew to Belfast. Must have started recently. One of the UK aircraft as well. Makes sense. She technically didn't leave the UK on this flight. In the UK, one of the outcomes of uh, the Brexit vote, they actually set up that subsidiary just to avoid, like, a uh, worst-case scenario of not being able to operate in the UK anymore as a result of that. But 
I don't think their their worries were were so bad in the end. It wasn't a big deal. So now they're just left with uh, 13 planes with a golf designation based here at Manchester. Now I'm going to have to try and have a go at this name now. Okay. I'm I, I'm going to do a terrible job. I'm just going to I'm just going to play safe and go with Marseille. I'm going to say that Marcia. Mar <laughs> Who's going to have a go at that name? I'll have to pull the chat up. <laughs> Thank you very much for your premium economy membership. Please let us know how to pronounce your name correctly in the chat as well, <laughs> so we don't insult you about nine times. <laughs> Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Welcome to VIP as well. And uh, Mr. Pingu returning for 10 months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very, very much. And uh, Seabru, welcome in, new subscriber. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Put it here, it might be all right. Rain's coming in sideways, so if I angle things into the, the wind, it should be okay. Mr. Pingu. <laughs> wow. Gifting 10 airliners live memberships wow. to the community. Thank you so much, dude. 10 gifted wow. subs. Incredible. Mr. Pingu, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Legend. incredible amount of support putting us to 31 brand new memberships today thank you dude Iberia Express and he used an idle reverse there but then engines on the Airbus a little bit higher than the Boeing so they don't scoop up as much water when they reverse them thrusters Yeah, cheers, Mr. Pingu. That's, that's massive. Lots of people getting gifted memberships from that one. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. Almost perfect. Hey. You should say it matchy, um, but with the French TCH. Uh, <laughs> easier way is to go with uh, Mafias or Matthew. like the English version. Okay, right. There you go. Is that a French name, is it? Or There you go. Thank you very much. Interesting. Cheers for supporting the channel as well. Yeah, very kind. Welcome to VIP. Standby, chat. I'm just going to recycle the main con because it's getting very framey. Sure what's going on here. Hmm. Something 
Strange going on, folks. Rebecca saying Virgin on the way in. Nice. Yeah, frame rate is, is bad, yeah, Stephen. Uh, you know what, guy? Just uh, let me check this all. My cam's all right. Is your cam all right? Your cam's all right. Let's see if it works itself out. If not, I may do a very quick software restart here, I think. Something's not happy. Clear takeoff. How are you doing? You're not the Twitch streamer, are you? <laughs> At least uh, with this 1080 setup as well, you could go back to the uh, the, 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 the switch. Yeah, the switcher. Nice. But why is why are we so framey, bro? It's weird how we're getting these framey things in 1080, but not in 4K. Eh? Boshini, good morning to you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Super Sunday Show here on Airliners Live, broadcasting multi-location cameras here from Manchester Airport and we do this every Sunday big shout out to Matt Smith who's the chap who's uh, over on the apron, he's filming all the action there, and you got myself Hello. my name's Andy, and we've got Martin as well downstairs, pushing Hello, all guys. the pushing all the buttons and operating the cameras here at the runway visitor park, Manchester Airport if anyone's new if this is your first stream or you've recently tuned into Airliners Live and found us let us know in the chat we're always really excited to see any new faces in there. And get involved, get stuck in, get chatting, introduce yourself. Tell us why you love aviation, tell us what your favourite airline is. Tell us where you're tuning in from. Um, yeah, stand by guys, I'm going to have to restart this software I think. Just bear with us for one moment, stream will go quiet guys, so just one second. torch in the window. Hey. Oh no. Hopefully you guys can see it. Nice. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, that I was a bad time to restart on it. Yeah, I got a recording of that as well. I shall uh, send that over to Danny. Legend. Hope you have a great holiday down in. I believe Tenno, uh, is it Lanzarote? It's one of the Canaries. Um, okay, I think... Uh, just trying to think here what we can do. Jetsu A330 on the taxi out there. It's the A330 200 series. This is the last of the two air tankers that they had on lease. This one's still operating for Jetsu. Um, air tanker based at the likes of uh, Bryce Norton, one of the uh, RAF bases. And does uh, many military-related jobs outside of when it's doing flights for an airline like Jet 2. That's in a, an all-economy config as well. I think it's got a 242 config, I think if I remember rightly. Which is strange, but I suppose if you're a family of four, it gives you the option to all sit next to each other. I'd personally pick the uh, the 333. Three, three. Gives a bit more flexibility in, in sitting by the window, I suppose. Whereas at the moment, it's a bit awkward, unless you've got a family of four, I guess. Or you're a couple. All by yourself. a bit of an issue I think I'm going to have to maybe restart the PC I'm not sure we've I've restarted the software that's not fixed it so uh, guys we may need to go offline for a moment so don't go anywhere just bear with us uh, we do need to go offline for a minute because yeah I don't want this for the next three hours do you want to get this departure first well you can if it's, it's like 10 frames a second but oh, right, okay. it's up to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a two. I was just saying. 
All right, we'll get this then. Yeah, I'll record it as well. Got our VIP, Danny. Danny is a, an illustrator. He does lots of really cool aviation pictures that he uh, draws up digitally. And he's been doing a series lately, a lot of Jet 2 planes, including the 757s, as and when they retire. Most recent one was Alpha Alpha. Sadly, she's now left us. She departed Manchester Airport. Wasn't it for St. Athen in, in Wales, I think she went to? Which normally means that... Uh, often means that they're getting, uh, well, no more life after that. <laughs> but I'm not sure. There were rumours that she's going to go on to fly for DHL. We shall see. Curious if... Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, Wayne Dyer saying, Buzz has just asked the EMA Tower if they can go on a 10-minute hold. What is going on with that buzz? I still don't know, folks, what the reason for the diversion was, but they're obviously having some kind of issue. She came into Manchester, was only here for about half an hour on the ground, which is pretty... That's pretty standard for a turnaround of a Ryanair flight. And then, uh, I wonder if they've fueled it here for its onward journey and maybe they're just slightly over on the... Yeah, that's, that's possible, yeah. Interesting. Something weird. Something unusual, should we say? Yes, Alpha Alpha went to St. Athens. Ah, right, okay. What's this coming in next? Virgin 330. I'm, I'm tempted to get this done sooner rather than later, mate, because the Etihad triple's pushing as well here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, can get, I can get a recording of uh, the departure. Yeah, stand by, guys. I need a couple of minutes just to make a couple of configuration changes and a restart on this system, so just bear with us, guys. Uh, we'll be back with you as quickly as we can, but we are going to go offline for a minute or two, so don't go anywhere, just stay in the chat, we'll return on exactly the same link. Wow. That red really cutting through. Where's that air tanker as well? Is that still down the start of the runway? I think it is. Yeah, I don't think we've missed it. Manchester barbecue weather, yes. <laughs> still raining here. Okay, folks, we should be back. And we should be back in 4K as well. Yes. You might need to leave and come back to get the 4K. Sometimes it's a bit fussy about that. Kilo Charlie on the reg of this easy jet. A320. Yeah, something we were just saying off stream there, which was very strange, is that our software was really not having a good time encoding 50 hertz, but it can do 4K in 25, four times the resolution. Very strange. But there we go. So uh, beautiful Etihad triple being pushed back on the apron as well. That's, is that running really late or something? It looks like it, yeah. Usually goes a lot earlier than this. Mate, this Jet 2 is looking a bit slow, isn't it? You take an intersection. Maybe. Wow. Really late rotation there. It was. I wonder if the air tanker will do the same. That'd be nice. Okay, let me do a little little check of Rooney's. Matt's nice. We're nice. Chat's nice. Hey, it's lovely, jubbly. Welcome back, everybody. Apologies for that. Thanks for uh, sticking with us. The rain is picking back up again. Yes, I love this. Wow. Yeah, this is. Uh, 
This is getting pretty gnarly now, isn't it? Yeah. And you feel the same too. If you have no 4K option on YouTube, you may need to close the stream and reopen it, guys. Yeah, I don't think it automatically changes. No need to do that if you're enjoying it as is, though. Uh, EasyJet A320 with the shark guts coming on in. Oh, you know what? No, it's me. It's me, guys. It's me. So Cheers, Peter. Yeah, I think I think full HD 1080p looks looks great. I was pretty impressed with uh, like Matt's show, for example, on Friday, where it was uh, not 4K. There goes the air tanker A330. Danny Taylor VIP on board, about 15 rows back on the right-hand side. Let's get a nice wide shot. <laughs> that was naughty. Hope you have a wonderful flight, dude. Have a great time, mate. Looking forward to hearing all about the flight as well. On board one of Manchester's A330s. And uh, on the taxi on Matcam, Virgin Atlantic. Darren, good morning to you. Hope you're well. Raining here in Skemmersdale, land of the roundabouts. Is it really? I've not been to a... I've never been to Skem, like, just on a day out. Wow. What is that? Phew. Matt. Mate. Going in with a red donation. 99.99. Oh. Wow. Wanted to do this for ages to repay the love, lads, from Matt Healy in the chat. Wow. Mate, that's incredible, wow. dude. Thank you very, very much, Matt. What a crazy amount of support to the stream. Thank you so much, mate. That's that's a huge amount to donate to the channel. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, I appreciate my Lions Live hearts in the chat from Matt there, guys. I know. I know you've been through a lot, my dude, and, you know, I'm glad... The streams were, were of some use to you to kind of keep your mind occupied and the community was there for you and you absolutely do not need to donate that much, but you know that goes a long way and we are massively appreciative of you. Thank you, mate. I hope things are brightening up for you, dude, but yeah, appreciate that. What a crazy amount of support. Yeah, that's massive. Thank you. Air France just touching down, coming in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Again, not as much spray. Just idle reverse, though, as the plane rolls out on 2 3 right. Kind of brightening up a little bit. Still raining a tiny bit as well. Don't want to speak too prematurely on that. <laughs> Can't get my hopes up. There's that Air France A319 anyway.
Car France vacating in from Paris. Neil, good morning. Thanks again, Matt. What a crazy donation. Right now, uh, rolling down the runway. Who saw the Norse Dreamliner arriving in Antarctica? Yeah, I saw that, and uh, I also laughed quite a lot at Andy's comment on that video as well. <laughs> so, who is that? <laughs> Your Twitter post. <laughs> <laughs> Norse flies to Antarctica before they fly to Manchester Airport. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was so cool, though. I'd seen it land in the snow, like on a snow runway. Ice runway. Didn't know Dreamliners could do that. That was mad. And Somil, welcome back. Three months of Airliners Live membership. Good morning, lads. Hope all's well today. Uh, and good to see you. Love those Manchester live streams. They're amazing. Take care from Somil. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate the support, Somil. Welcome back for three months. Helen Booker, good morning to you. Welcome in. Hull seems to be missing the rain so far today. Well, let's go there, shall we? <laughs> I remember people getting wound up on Twitter because I called that a retro scheme yes, he had. Yeah. And, God forbid. Uh, I know. I'm going to keep calling it that because... Why yeah. not? It's yeah. your stream. You can do what you like. Exactly. <laughs> Iceland Air in that new livery. And yeah, the, the Etihad today sporting the classic colours of what we call the retro livery. And it's funny how the yappers are always the people who never watch the stream as well. <laughs> yeah. And never say anything positive. You know, they'll, they'll just say the negative. <laughs> Yappa yappa. Virgil Atlantic A330 pushed back as well. Matt, that is looking good. He's uh, not on the phone again, though. He keeps putting the phone down on me, Matt Smith. Oh. He's got his TikTok open. He's, he's doing something, isn't he? You keep putting. Oh, he's still not answering. Look, now he's gone to Greg's. I know you're going to. Steak bake, please. Look, can I have a. Steak bake, sleep. <laughs> hey, he's gone. <laughs> Smuggled the company card. As well. He's gone a lot. He's actually gone. Oh no. <laughs> Matt Healy in the chat saying, well deserved. To go to Andy's comments, this place is, uh, and this community has been a, a warm spot in, in, uh, for what is a difficult year. Seems like the right thing to do to repay until I can get down and say hi in person. Dude, that'd be amazing if you could. Uh, Come and hang out with us after a stream one day. Yeah, definitely, mate. Do keep us updated. Always welcome to. The right now on the way out to Poland. North to Poland. I'm super excited to see this Etihad, though. I am. Um, is oh. he here now, Matthew? Oh, yeah, all right. You keep putting phone down on me, you. <laughs> I never put the phone down on you, ever, ever, ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> Report to my office. <laughs> you go for a wonder, have you? Signal's a bit raw. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't I, have to call you on WhatsApp. I can't. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I never get a signal in Greg's either, to be fair. <laughs> 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 Two we dream by the next out. Yeah, tic tac, it's uh, really not nice up here today, mate. Oh. Good views, though. Yeah, bad signal is code for I've gone for a state bait. 
<laughs> There's that trick, isn't there, where you, where you tap the mute button and he's like, oh, what? Oh, oh, uh, 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 oh sorry, I can't. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm busy. Yeah, guys, as you can see, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's there. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all. <laughs> People will think the streams go buggy again. <laughs> <laughs> and all you hear is Shickety Jairline is live with their tech issues <laughs> It's not a retro livery It's a classic livery I'm going to put three little circles Because no one will know what I'm talking about <laughs> the If you know, you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the internet one the buzz is only just about to land at East Mids. No way, is it? Really? Wow. It would have been quicker to drive. Tic Tac Jim going in with a Twitch tier one sub as well. Thank you, mate. Putting us to 94 subs on the Twitch channel. Legend. Awesome. Cheers, Tic Tac Jim. Tic Tac Toe. Tic Tac Jim. Festive bakes are already out. Yes, they are. They are, mate. What are they? Is there anything like actually. It's ah. like a roast dinner in a pasty. Oh, that's weird. The um, yes. they do pigs under blankets, so sandwich, ah. which is pretty good to hear. We I'd we definitely give that a go. We normally go for them. Uh, what are they called? Chicken uh, strippers, chicken Why tenders. So yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever got the the fried chicken from uh, Greg's? It's like sometimes they're like chill, and sometimes like mega spicy for no reason. Yeah, it's really weird. It's it, it's. It's complete luck of the day whether you get your head blown off. <laughs> or if they're just normal chicken strips. Me and Martin just go really quiet for a bit in the office as we're like... Just... And all you hear from my desk is, why is all spicy? I did like David Long's picture in the mod chat. Put a picture of uh, all his spicy sauces up, up, lined up on the desk. Oh, yeah. That man, he knows some <laughs> spicy sauces. <isn't> <laughs> Graham Hill, thank you, mate. Gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community. Thank you very much, Graham. Absolute legend. Really appreciate the support. It really does help the stream by gifting memberships. If you are enjoying the stream and you'd like to help cover the cost of the show, you can do that by clicking the dollar symbol, then clicking gifted memberships, and we'll keep track of the progress throughout the show. There's a Q8 A330 is next to land in the old scheme as well. Retro, retro. Banging. Can't call it that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Love this livery. Really nice. Reverse thrust, anyone? Nah. Don't need that. I mean, clearly, clearly not. That's weird. Yeah, it's rolling out. Yeah. Clearly didn't need it. The A330 200 coming in from Q8 City. In this, uh, it seems like all the A330 200s have this livery on them in their fleet. And then, of course, the the other one that would frequent Manchester is the A330 Neo, which would be in the newer Q8 colour scheme. Just like the A320 Neo that they sometimes send. Q8 Airways actually started the Manchester service, the Manchester route, with the A320 Neo in like a two class config economy and business and uh, that lasted about a year before they upgraded it to the uh, well, a good, good couple of months before they started using it. I noticed as well the Dreamliner that we seen on uh, Henry's show yesterday did that hot brakes thing where they just climbed out with yeah, no yeah uh, stayed on for ages didn't they uh, they stayed down for ages it's weird that isn't it mm, really weird we all good on the stream people saying yeah it's spiked I think 
It's settling down again now. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the, the 787 Dreamliners, they sometimes take off and don't retract the gear. And sometimes it can be like thousands of feet before they do. Our original thing was like maybe there's a fault or maybe the pilots just forget to retract them, but it's actually, we think it's down to just the brakes being too hot and they have to cool down before the gear retracts. So the, the pilots will pull the lever to retract the gear, but it won't move straight away. It will have to wait and then move on its own accord. We love this plane though. One of our favorite features here at Manchester. It's very retro-esque. Again, this isn't officially known as a retro scheme. They don't, they don't call it that. I think it's just not been painted to the new livery yet. With them taking delivery of the likes of A330 Neos. I, I don't think they are going to paint these. I think they're probably going to keep them as they are. Uh, yes, so you guys will only have 1440p today, unfortunately, um, because we were testing 1080p. And the max we can send you uh, without creating a new stream is 1440, guys. So. Uh, we will be staying in 1440p for the rest of today's show. Because, uh, I'll be honest, I don't really want to stop the stream, make a new link and try and get everybody over to the new link. It's not worth it. Yeah, it is a cool plane, though, for sure. We got the, speaking of cool planes, the Etihad Retro down at the start of the runway. Just making their way onto the active departure runway now. Jill's bacon butties have arrived. Nice. Now he started. Lufthansa coming in as well. A319. Michelle saying I'm in A330 heaven today. But Michelle, there's also a Heinen A330 waiting to be pushed back on that cam, which I've not shown you guys yet. Wow. Amazing. British Airways heading back to London Heathrow. And then the Etihad Triple will be next. Awesome. Seen a tweet that air fryers are the new turkey teeth, really? Everyone trying to buy them up for Christmas presents. I wonder wow. why. That's like the next it's like the next big thing, isn't it? Air fryers. Listen, yeah. you've not got one, have you? I well I used to, but yeah, they're they're good. Yeah, I don't know. Come around my house. Definitely not an essential. They are in my house. <laughs> Wow, that was nuts. So glad we waited for that. Or oh, so glad it was late, actually. Aiden saying, uh, air fryers are good. I also use my halogen oven. I'm not brave enough to use a halogen oven. I don't know why I don't. I really don't trust them. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Something just about having a really hot light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> so that Etihad, by the way, was, yeah, that was due out at like 8 a.m. So yeah, it is running almost three hours late. So what is, I feel like the 
the, the, it's flipped because I remember I used to have an air fryer and you didn't and I was always banging on about it well no. I think I had a rubbish air fryer at first right that's why so we tried it and we're like this is not it but now we've got a good one it, it, you, you kind of see what, what is good about it what, what's the best thing in it do you reckon that you do I mean, it's just the speed, man. It's everything just cooks so much faster. Like, yeah. I threw eight sausages in there yesterday just to have some sausage sandwiches. Yeah. And it took like 15 minutes ah. to just do these sausages. And obviously, in the oven, it's going to take at least half an hour. I fry everything these days, but I suppose with that, you don't have to just because when there's fry, no oil, there's literally no oil. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's and true. I just put them in, and you just shake them every couple of minutes, or yeah. every twice, two or three times. And they cook great, and they're super fast. Especially if you're frying things, you have to kind of stand there and you know do all that. But I think the good thing is as well with um, with them is uh, things like chips and stuff as well. In the oven, they never really cook that well. Yeah. In the yeah. air fryer, they just cook really, really good. That was it. Went back in the day when I had one. It was it was chips was the main thing. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, it was quicker as well. They they heat up quick as well. You know, in an oven you have to like preheat it. And we use a lot less electric apparently. I've been yeah. told using an air fryer. That's a big one, isn't it? It's only a small space, isn't it? Like, you, like you yeah. can't even get like a, a whole chicken in there. <laughs> Here's a question for the YouTube chat. Coming in live from the Twitch chat as we thank Dean Guy for seven months of premium economy. Loving the Etihad delivery. Thank you very much, mate. And uh, Boulder Van Motten wants to know. Hey, chat. Do you think putting tomato sauce on a pancake makes it a pizza? <laughs> Let us know. Yay or nay in the YouTube chat. Twitch crew, you're going to have to head over to YouTube to find out what the answer is. A pretty floppy pizza. Virgil Atlantic A330 on the roll now as a Singapore A350 is under tow. Big tow. Got the note. Virgin Atlantic off to Orlando, A330-300 series, Virgin Flight 75. Big Dave says, uh, weather looks a touch inclement. You reckon? Ah. This, is, this is summer for Manchester, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's a lot of nays in the chat about that pizza comment. Yeah, I must admit, I'm not, I'm not with you there, Boulder Van, I'll be honest. I think you're out on your own on that one, son. Singapore A350 should be on the taxi out very shortly. And yes, as you can see, the weather is not fun here at Manchester today. Lots of rain, lots of wet ground and spray, which is good for the arrivals, but it's not good for visibility. Yeah, a lot of nays. Unfortunately, Boulder Van. We tried. Oh my gosh. And Terry says, I'm with Bevster. What's, what's Bevster's idea? Oh no, I'm not with Bevster. What's that? I'm not with Bevster at all on that. <laughs> and Michelle. Oh, he, which mod's done that? Michelle says. Can you wish Kevin Locke a happy 59th birthday for tomorrow, please? Absolutely, Michelle. Thank you very much, and uh, very happy birthday to Kevin. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. What? Cheers, Michelle. McVerist on the Twitch channel subscribing at tier three. Yes. And they've subscribed for four months in a row. Tier three. Wow. What a legend. Thank you very wow. much, mate. That's an incredible amount of support. Thank you. I can see that KLM 737 
seven hundreds, all the sevens, on the taxi out as well. Love that little plane. Wonder if we'll see that Transavia retro today. Yes. Is that on the way in? I wonder. Yes. There you go, this is that mini little KLM on the taxi out. Sounds like the pennies have decided to make Manchester Airport a water fountain. <laughs> what? I feel like it. <laughs> Throw me a few pennies. Make a wish. Do you find cleaning air fryers around the fan area difficult? I'll be honest, Rod, I've not done it yet. I just... Um, I've just uh, been putting the trays in the dishwasher. I guess, yeah, you probably should clean the top, eh? I never did. I've never looked at the top. I can't remember how long I had mine for a good few months. But yeah, you, you kind of clean the, the base of it, right, where the, where the food sits. But other than that, uh, I can't remember. Hey, and Holly, welcome back for eight months of Premium Economy membership, saying great shows and the best community. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, Bevster, you'll uh, very quickly start a riot in the chat with... Uh, with the pineapple on pizza comment. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't even go there. Especially when Matt's on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about Matt. His phone will disconnect in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you do tuning in from Hanover Airport. Welcome to you. Hello. Wow. wow, look at that. I've needed a wee for about half an hour. Oh. And I've been crossing my fingers and my legs now, hoping that the rain stops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to... It's just getting worse. Yeah. I think it keeps stopping for like a minute and yeah. it'll just come back to this. But one of the best things is the spray, of course. That's pretty. And uh, Kevin, thank you very much for the seven months of business class membership saying good morning, one and all. Some nice spraying going on there. Still dry in Norfolk so far. Uh, love the show and have a great day, guys. And months. thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the stream today. And Jeanette's gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Wow, Thank again. you, Jeanette. Really appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, Dave dropping a £10 donation on the twi on the YouTube channel. Saying hi, Andy, Martin and Matt. Just a small donation for my two-year membership. Not always able to watch, yes. but always happy to support when I can with the brand new gold tail badge. Thank you, mate. Thank you, That's a legend. Mate. Thanks for supporting the channel. Right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk a week, so stand by and leave your main camp. She goes the Diddy little seven three seven seven hundred. Great to see, Mister Pink. You saying Elan is live. Two questions, please. What happened to the two e seven sixty seven that broke down at Palma de Mallorca? And the second is the Brussels on repairs at Manchester still there. Uh, okay, so yeah, two e seven sixty seven. I don't know what went wrong with it. I spoke to one of the pilots at two e. Um, just saying that it went tech at Parma de Mallorca and um, we had to wait for some parts to arrive before it flew away so um, 
she was there for a good couple of days. Uh, now she's, I think she's left Palma and gone straight to uh, wherever her next, you know, stop is. Not she hasn't come back to Manchester. Basically, she never did after that, which is a shame. I believe them two 760s sevens are, are going to have cargo conversions. And then the Brussels, I don't know if that's still here. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Do you know anything about that map? I think it was a Brussels 8330, was it? Uh, STS? I don't know if it's still there, though. Not sure. Yeah, but it was cool to see that, though. It was cool to see. I definitely didn't see it on the apron. Um, sometimes, it, unless it's inside the STS hangar, right? I know the Thai A330 still remains there. Picture quality is not good today. <laughs> is that because of the really poor visibility? <laughs> the visibility is pretty shocking today because this heavy rain, that has just not stopped for a while. As you can see, this plane only a couple of hundred feet in the air and uh, it's barely visible. We have a Singapore Airlines A350 on the taxi out though. We just make do with it here at Manchester. It rains so, so often. It just feels like we're lucky to have a show where it doesn't rain these days. Enjoy, Michelle. A lot of people making bacon butties today. What, what's going on? Did I miss a memo? I think I've seen about four people say that they're having bacon buddies. I do love bacon though. I love it. All right, two heavy aircraft. One coming in, one going out. A330, touching down. That's a major spray. Slowed her right down. I think she's going to vacate. Right there she is. Oh, nice. Glorious. Sunny Skemmers. Is it sunny? I, no way is it sunny. Just literally a couple of miles away. I'm convinced Manchester Airport has its own biome. Virgin Atlantic A330. Look at this stunner. In the rain. Golden Girl, the name of her. Sunny in Edinburgh, nice. I need to get back to Edinburgh. I've said it a few times on the show. It's, it's my favorite city in the UK. Probably closely followed by York. Although Liverpool, definitely top three. In my opinion. Raining in Preston. It just seems like all around here it's just hit and miss, right? Yeah, Joanna, I'm missing it too. 
Do we not have any Virgin A350s uh, at Manchester now? Why have I come back and we've lost all three cameras, apart from that cam? Oh. How long has that been a thing for? I don't know. Okay, main cam. Now they're all back. <laughs> what? Oh, well, yours is gone again. <laughs> what? Oh, gosh. Yeah, nothing's changed. <laughs> Edinburgh Christmas market is supposed to be amazing. Wow, Joanna, that's a good idea. I've never been, like, in Edinburgh in the winter. Imagine being there when it's snowing and you've got that kind of, like, early sunset and it, like, the whole town lights up. And you've got the markets there as well. Only a couple of seconds. Okay, good. Glad you said Liverpool. I live in Liverpool. Nice. Gosh, what's going on here? Yeah, I lived in Liverpool for a good few years of my adult life. Maybe like five, six years. Kind of... Maybe I'm just seeing things. That plane pitched up a lot there. On final approach. Well, we just managed to get your cam back on. No worries. I wonder if it's your B cam because that's going on and off a lot. I wonder if it's throwing the others off. Weird. It's not yeah. wet, is it? Because uh, obviously they're both going into the same capture card. Maybe. I shall disconnect. Maybe disconnect it for now. We'll see how that runs. Um, the Jet 2 Sun F. Half a livery on the way out. First time catching this for me, I think. Yeah. It's hard to keep track of uh, of all them getting delivered. And Heinen still waiting for its pushback. Chuck is connected. Lingus A330 also pushed back as well. All sorts going on. Nice. On the Super Sunday show today. If you are enjoying it, make sure you click that like button, guys. Really helps the channel a lot if you can. Yeah, definitely. The Sun F comes round the corner. Nice quick taxi. You know, having to work a little bit harder than usual just because the rain and things like that. Again, it seems to have eased up a bit at the moment. Yeah, we're doing our best to uh, stay online for you guys. I hope you are enjoying the stream. Been live already for a good couple of hours. Of course, we start a little bit earlier these days on the Sundays. 9 a.m. start is turning out to be really, really good. And Richard saying some cracking shots today. Cheers, Richard. Thanks. Yeah, I think if we didn't go live in the rain at Manchester, you'd hardly see us, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, so, Tom and Ann. Tom and Ann, hello. You guys here at the RVP yet? And they wipe the main cam. Yeah, good idea. Cheers, Tom. Need to get some more blue roll at this rate, I think. Some by your feet, I think. Yeah, I mean, like, that roll's running low. <laughs> oh, is it? I'll order some uh, now. Oh, that was a lot on that lens, then. 
Should be a lot clearer now for you guys. It's literally going to get to the point, though, think about it in maybe a year or so, where these A321 Neos and what will be A320 Neos as well are just going to be so persistent at Manchester with Jet 2. Right now, you see the odd one here and there, but they're having, like, over 70 delivered. Mm -hmm. And I think most of them are going to be based at Manchester initially, it seems. Singapore A350 rolling. That sounded great. More of that, please. Mate, they're gnarly, aren't they? The 350s when they get off. Yeah. Absolutely awesome, that. I think Matt was saying last weekend, it was like, it's normally when it rains, when when the weather's a bit off, you know, they'll, uh, I don't know if that makes them have more power in it, or maybe they just... Uh, just give it a beans. Yeah. Mate, that was boss. Yeah. Darren Taggart sending in a five pound donation as well to the channel. Cheers, Darren. So you get yourself a nice warm coffee or tea, Andy and Martin. Enjoy the rest of the day. Oh, I'd love that. Thank you very much, Darren. Really appreciate it, mate. I uh, I do have my airliner's life flask today, but I I, I went and drank it all, drank it all before the show even started. Yeah, mine's <laughs> nearly empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm like should have just like waited it out and actually enjoyed it when I was freezing cold. <laughs> so that's uh, something I need to improve on patience. I'm all right, Tom and Anne, thank you at the moment. Asking if we want anything from the cafe, Andy. Yeah, no, I'm good. Maybe after. Terry Edwards, gifting an airliner's live membership. Thank you so much. Cheers, Terry. Thank you. Thanks, guys. The gifted memberships are an incredible way of supporting the channel. Putting us to 39 new members on today's stream. What an awesome amount of new VIPs in the community. Thank you, guys. I must say that the airliner's live beanie doing a 10 out of 10 job keeping my head warm and yeah, we've got guys... more coming really yeah they're arriving uh, in the next week or so you guys may have noticed i have no hood up on my jacket because this thing is water resistant and it's actually keeping Can't my see head you don't forget yeah yeah, yeah. um and the water resistant so even just wearing this uh, keeps my head nice and dry and there's the pegasus is on final approach, the Heinen 330 pushing back on Matt Cam in your pitcher in pitcher. And Buffalo Tracker gifting a membership to the community. Thank you, mate. And Lenny gifting an airliner's live membership. And Audrey as well. Three gifted memberships. Graham, <laughs> four. Gosh, everyone trying to get that one gifted membership to round it off. Thank you. And John has also just gifted an airliner's live membership as well. Thank you, guys. Wow, what's going on? Putting us to 44 wow. new members on today's stream. Legends. That little gifty train on the top of the chat there. I think we all had the same idea to make it up to 40. I think you did, Audrey. <laughs> yeah. Who's all? Who's the fastest fingers in the West here? Look. <laughs> well, we're going to break away from this Pegasus, though, guys, because the Heinen 330 is uh, pushing back on Matt Cam. Perfect framing as well, Matty. That is a awesome shot. The rain is uh, returned as well. Rebecca received my airliner's live calendar on Friday. I love it. Can't wait to put it up in the new year. Thank you so much, Rebecca. 
Amazing. And Liam Fletcher gifting a membership, putting us to 45 new members on today's stream. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Liam. I think this is the heaviest the rain's been so far. And Helen also getting involved, gifting a membership. Let's get those gifty emotes in the chat, guys. Lots of love and support coming into the channel now. 46 new members. Wow. Thank you all. And the Pegasus Neo arriving in from Istanbul. Yeah, get drenched. Lee Blanchard, hello. Welcome to you. And Dan S gifting a membership. Thank you, Dan. The two roll into Tenerife. And Brody, welcome back for nine months of support. Great work, lads. Such a good community. Thank you, Brody. Thank you. Hope you're well, dude. And the Heinen pushing right back in the alley there. So it can make the right hand turn on taxi. Take care, Darren. Have a great day, mate. Thank you so much for tuning in. 2.6K watching. Welcome in, everyone. If you are new, please get involved in the chat. Wow, that's a lot of people. And Sasha, welcome to you. Hope you're doing well, Sasha. Visibility is really poor at the moment. Wow, and Jeanette McKenzie sending in her 10th donation to the stream. Wow. With a £10 donation saying, towards the coffee, it's the least you deserve from Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. That's very kind of you. Thank you very, very much. And thanks for your 10th ever donation to our channel as well. That's very kind. So much going on, guys. I'm trying to pick between aircraft here. We've also got a Tui Dreamliner with its beacon on on stand as well. Nice. And the Heinen just completing its pushback. They'll disconnect that pushback truck now. As they start up the engines on that 330. If you are enjoying the multicam mat cam on the Super Sunday show, get those mat cam emotes in the chat. Unique feature of Airliners Live Super Sunday show, bringing you the apron and the runway views here from Manchester Airport. Huge shout out to the Aviation Society and the Runway Visitor Park for working with us to give us this awesome streaming location here from the RVP. And a big shout out to Matty Boy Smith in the car park, bringing you all of the apron views. Cheers, Matt. And uh, two feet left aviation, our good friend, Gabe. Hey. An incredible content creator, guys. <laughs> From over on the south yes. side, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go and subscribe to 23L Aviation, uh, Gabe. He's the, yes. He's just, honestly, guys, he's an absolute gentleman, honestly. He's, he's sound. And, uh, yeah, we love guys his content. He's a legend, man. He is, isn't he? Saying so, uh, great wet weather episode, guys. Thank you, mate. I hope you're doing well as well. It was awesome to see you at Barton uh, the other week for the Gazelles, mate. I've not seen you in a little while, so really yeah. good to see you. And I uh, hope you're doing well, Gabe, as well. Uh, and uh, he's, he's also part of the Sony club as well, guys. So, you know what I mean? You know he's going to be good. <laughs> yeah. You can trust him. Yeah, you can trust him. He's got a Sony. <laughs> Tom and Anne, thank you very much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Cheers, guys. Wow, lots of love and support coming in. Mods, um, feel free to chuck a, a full link in the chat for Gabe's channel if you want, um, if it makes it easier for people. Peter H say that there's another diversion coming in. Jet um, 2, yeah. Yeah. It took off from Leeds, I think. Oh. So we'll keep an That's eye open for that. And Beastie, hope you're doing well. With a £2 donation, saying great stream as always, lads. Great content and chat. Yeah, we do have, uh, we believe, the best community in live aviation. This ATR in from Dublin. 
Steve Rafferty, good morning, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hello. Seeing you in the uh, chat last night for Henry Show. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots of rain here at Manchester at the moment. It's pouring down. A number one tracked worldwide on uh, Flight Radar 24 is the Jet 2 from Leeds Radford to Lanzarote. Uh, tracks 17 Charlie Yankee. And uh, that's next to land after this Ryanair diverting in. No information as of yet as to the reason for the divert. Yeah be the second divert that we caught on the show today the other one being that buzz that was heading from uh, I think Krakow or Warsaw one of them somewhere in Poland to East Midlands EMA for some reason diverted to Manchester as well Chris 79 thank you very much mate it's very kind of you dude it's good to have you with us today very wet runway here at Manchester Thirteen hundred likes on the stream. Can we hit two thousand likes wow. on the show, guys? I'm sure we can. There's over two thousand watching, so Hiding three thirty, taxi and out, as is the 2E Dreamliner in the background just been pushed back. Yorkshire Rose saying the Jet 2 that's diverting in is the one that's supposed to be bringing me home from Lanza. Ah. Says Yorkshire Rose. Well, we'll keep an eye on that for you then. And cheers, Robin. Thanks for subscribing to Gabe's channel. Yeah, he's really good content creator. He uh, does pre-recorded content. Yeah, visibility really gone downhill now. We can't even see the end of the runway, guys. And Graham wants to wish son Jason a very happy birthday for tomorrow. Hey. Hope he has a great day, mate. And thank you very much, Graham, for your long-term support of the channel. And Helen with a £5 donation coming in saying, uh, I'll buy you guys donuts to go with your coffees. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I got a very strange, yeah. like, uh, what's the word? Craving for a donut yesterday. Ah. Don't know why. It's proper fancy, the donut. But Spooky didn't get, donut. Didn't get, one. didn't get one. I went to Greg's on the way down to uh, London a couple of weeks ago, and it was around, like, Halloween time, so they had them spooky donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're all in stitches because the way I said it went, hey, can I have three spooky donuts, please? <laughs> <laughs> and they all, they all laughed. <laughs> We're in Birmingham as well, so I think they all thought my accent was a bit weird. Barry Albrook welcoming Barry and Emma tuning in. Legends. Got down the RVP today, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Who's not at the RVP? Bit of rain. Jet 2, just a short final, no. Just visual on it. Oh, yeah. Emergency landing, one hour, 30 minutes. I don't even think it's squawking in an emergency code. No. Interesting. Let's get a clip of this anyway, because it, it's going to spray a fair bit. <laughs>
very wet runway. 2-3 right at Manchester. Yeah, no information on the reason for the divert yet. I'm sure it'll come through whilst we're live. Yeah, if anyone in the chat knows, let us know. I wonder if uh, Captain Mark will will have any info on it. But this plane is uh, wasn't bound for Manchester. No, he's on his way to Lanzarote, and yeah, our digging. I'm not really sure why it wouldn't go back to Leeds, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, Manchester's got a decent length runway because obviously it'll have enough fuel on it to get to Lanzarote, but that's just me guessing it. Maybe. Uh, that could be it, yeah. Maybe completely nothing to do with it. <coughs> there you see the 2E Dreamliner is uh, about to start its taxi out as well on Matt Camp. We've seen that shortly. Yeah. <coughs> Very pretty high in an A330 on main cam here. Yeah. Oh, you're having a great holiday though, Yorkshire Rose. Yeah, I'm sure you're not missing this weather. Hopefully this A330 creates some nice ribbons. Here is the Jetsu 737 that diverted it. Mike, there's um, the usual hardcore spotters here today and a few people up on the mound with brollies, but uh, obviously the RVP is not as busy as usual today with the weather, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's been a bit of a rough year for, for us in Manchester weather-wise this year. We didn't really have much of a summer and we've had a lot of rain. Yeah, it's just standard. A380 arrival not far away as well. This was the most tracked plane in the world a couple of mo moments ago on Flight Radar 24. Aircraft are entering the hold around Macclesfield, maybe just to make way for that divert. Potentially an easy jet has already gone around the hold once and a second easy jet in from Geneva is making the turn. As the Emirates A380 also begins making the turn as well. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah, I think just making way for that arrival to come in and also uh, there are three aircraft on approach. Uh, the uh, Sun Express, Malta Air and Turkish all around the top end waiting for their uh, heading for the ILS. Emirates is definitely entering the hold over Macclesfield as it descends through 10,000 feet. And uh, the EasyJet did one loop around from Paris and it's now uh, made the right-hand turn over Buxton on the downwind leg for 2-3 right. And I would expect the uh, EasyJet from Geneva to do the same as well. So hopefully just one loop around the hold for the Emirates before it's with us. That's great. Very interesting to see how well Nats just sequence everything up in real time. It's really, really cool. It's making yeah. space. It'll be an epic arrival, that King of the Skies.
We got Matt Smith back. Nice. In the house. Six. Fifty-two. Signals, uh, signals a bit. Signals a bit rubbish up here today. <laughs> yeah, it seems it doesn't it. Fifty-two new members on today's stream, guys. Absolutely crazy number. Thank you to everyone who's supported the channel today. And thanks to everyone who sent in super chats as well. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far. There's the uh, Jet 2 heading round to Matt Cam now. We'll keep an eye on that as the uh, Heinen 330. And yeah, Lingus 330 is uh, down the end. 2 3 right. Can the Apron Cam see the Jet 2? Uh, yes, uh, Has it? Fire crew following it, the uh, Jet 2, so yeah. Okay, we'll wait for it to come round the corner then. But if anything looks a bit touchy, we'll just uh, we'll just cut away from that. I think. Yeah, I'll stay away. Yeah, uh, just keep it nice and wide, Matt. But we'll follow it in anyway. Yeah. yeah. We'll try not to zoom in too much if there is, especially if there's anything medical and stuff, guys. Obviously, I know we have got the apron cam, but we want to keep it respectful as well. Looks like it's being followed in. It's one of the remotes, Matt, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, I think so. My bad looks. But like the uh, got a fire appliance following it in, so whether it's something tech, I'm not sure. Looking like that. I guess um, if it was a technical issue. Maybe it might just be a better bet, you know, having the maintenance space here as well. Yeah, I think it, I wonder if it was anything urgent, like medical urgent stuff. I don't think they would have sent it all the way down to this yeah. remote, would they? No. I'd have thought they'd have put it on this one of the remote stands at the side of STS here, I'm honest, if it's something really, really urgent. Yeah, I, 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 I'd put my bet on something technical with the aircraft. Sun Express, 737 Max 8. Something loud going overhead. It's a uh, PC-12, <laughs> believe it or not. Brightening up a bit. Yeah, it seems to be for the moment. Yeah, it's still raining. Brollies are still up on the mound. So the uh, so the jet two has stopped on a, on a remote stand on the perimeter. So uh, not sure what they're going to be doing. Okay. Maybe disembarking the. Can you passengers? get a shot of it, Matt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, behind the, uh, oh, the tail there. Uh, the tail, and obviously the fire now just approaching the aircraft. Might be pretty hidden, so... Uh, There goes the Aer Lingus, A330.
and the mall to air. Touching down, and as expected, the Emirates did do one loop around the hold, and it's now uh, on the downwind leg. Just need to see a louder A320 now, and then we've seen all the the Ryanair yeah. liveries. Hey, Christina, hope you're doing well. This does look great, doesn't it, this scheme? Yeah, I agree. Not to be confused with Air Malta. Which is a different airline. Very pretty. Another Ryanair subsidiary. I think they actually have their own website, though, Malta Air. But it just redirects you to the Ryanair website whenever you try and book flights. Yeah, so Jet 2's on the remote, guys, behind the holiday's tail, so we can't really see it, but I don't think there's anything significant here. It's just potentially a technical issue or something like that. Um, it looks like they're manoeuvring yeah. in things like uh, stairs and stuff to offload the passengers, so... Yeah, we're not 100% sure. Joanna saying I love the tail design on the Malta. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Nice plane all round. Suits the max a lot. Looks like the uh, fire crew's vacated. Oh, yeah. Sure, we'll find out specifically what happened with that yeah. plane, but yeah, the fire crew definitely Absolutely. leads to you believing that it's going to be a technical fault. The plane could have even had like a bird strike or something, although with faults like that, yeah. Usually they meet them on the apron, on the taxiway, don't they? But they didn't do that here. They actually met them on the apron. And uh, Marjit, thank you very much yeah. for becoming a premium economy member. Thank you for supporting the channel today. Thank you. That's awesome. You're member number Sonic 53 today. Taxi right in front of us. Nice. I love how they use that uh, terminal one stand. <coughs>
That was pretty spectacular. So next West holding. You see how much water is on the uh, the apron, guys. The quick. Turkish tag team pass as well. Yeah, nice and quick. Emirates number three to land behind a couple of easy jets. Sweet. Wow, this rain really hasn't stopped. <laughs> I was real ambitious getting here and <laughs> taking my it's jacket just, off. It's just constant, isn't it, every week? Yeah, everything's soaked. My neck's soaked. Water's getting down my arms. It is lovely. Tracy Donninson returning for eight months of membership. Saying a great Sunday soaker show. And Tracy, thank you very much for the eight months of support. Thank you all. Thank you for tuning in today, folks. You guys make it all worth it. Cold, rain, wind, all, all the elements. And Peter Carroll, thank you, mate. Gifting a membership to the community today. Thank you very much, Peter. Putting us to 54 new members on the stream. Cheers, Peter Carroll. Easy jet vacating from uh, Paris to a Dreamliner down the end, waiting for departure. There's another easy jet to land up, and that's followed in by the King of the Skies. And the Sun Express finally moving now. Super excited for this A380 arrival. Definitely going to get a recording of it. Turkish A321 just pulling on to stand as well. Tight right turn. Yeah, spray will be uh, incredible when this 380 lands. The second easy jet in from Geneva as a 2 d minor to Bridgetown lines up. Get them out before the king arrives. Do you could up my headphones, by the way? Yep. Well, uh, a little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. We are you. visual with the 8080 as well. Got this Dreamliner shifting. Lovely 2E787. Rolling down the runway.
swivel round and catch the king of the skies. A380 number two of today's show. Hit that record button as well. Wow, what an arrival. Amazing. Emirates A380. And just as uh, that was arriving, we saw on MatCam that they are offloading that Jet 2 now that diverted in. A huge thanks to Aiden, gifting an airliner's, uh, sorry, for donating a £2 donation, saying, uh, watch you from the British Library in London, you buses. Shh, 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 shh. Nice. Thank, thank you, mate. And uh, Jeanette McKenzie, thank you very much for gifting a membership to the community today, putting us on 55 new members on today's stream. Cheers, Jeanette. Rocket Wolf, great to see you on the Twitch channel. Hope you're doing well. We'll let you enjoy this, uh, this King of the Skies taxi right past here at the RVP. Yeah, Gabe, it was pretty crazy, that arrival, wasn't it? Does kick up a good spray on a wet runway. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Guys in the tower just look at how drenched they are. <laughs> Looks like he's just been dropped in the ocean. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like five, five to nine. <laughs> Wait, wait. As soon as you click go live. And then no doubt, as soon as we click stop, oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent, it will uh, it'll stop again. Yeah, <laughs> literally, I'm like, there's so much water coming in through this window down here. Wow, right near plug sockets and stuff. I'm just like building a little dam out of blue roll. <laughs> Back us up. No worries. It's that kind of rain that it doesn't look that heavy when you see it and feel it, but everything just gets drenched very quickly. Anyway, the Emirates A380 just arrived here at Manchester Airport. King of the Skies.
King of the Skies heading into uh, stand 12 at Manchester, Terminal 1. Going to make that left-hand turn very shortly. <coughs> The digital marshaller on the terminal there. It's going to direct the King of the Skies onto the stand. We had over 3,000 live viewers for that A380 arriving. Wow. Great to have you all with us today, guys. Feel free to share the stream around. Can't do. Let's get this lens a wipe. Oh, Stand by, guys. We'll uh, do a quick swap over. It's uh, when it's relentless like this, folks. It's uh, it's all right when it rains a bit, but when it's for the whole show, we just need to just keep swapping around. And yeah, definitely. I'll leave the tablet up here, though. Yeah, that'll be good. It's nicely positioned. Stand by, folks. Stand by, guys. If you are enjoying the stream, whilst we take a second. Please give the stream a like and a share, and I will run a very, very quick ad, guys, just while we do a bit of a swap over, so stand by. Oh, right, I'm down in the studio now, folks, trying to get a bit warm. Oh, my gosh, I am drenched through and through. <laughs> 
The jacket did a good job, to be fair. I don't know how much this picks up on the other thing. I don't know. You can see just how drenched everything is, and it was getting up my sleeves and everything. <clears throat> There's one heavy jacket, though. So that might dry off a little bit, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, this, this arm is... Because I think the water was getting under the sleeve and then just travelling down the... Uh, down my arm. Lovely. <laughs> ah, How is everyone doing, though, folks? Here on the Super Sunday show. This is very typical of Manchester Airport these days. It's very frequently that we have to deal with this. <coughs> and it's a sh I mean, although it does make for like very good views of the a aviation action, like the planes arriving and things. Um, it does kind of ruin the visibility a little bit. It literally, I feel like if I had jumped in a, in a swimming pool with all my clothes on and got back out, I, I would have been more dry doing that. <laughs> But yeah, th big thank you to everyone for the uh, support on today's show so far. It's been uh, pretty overwhelming, actually. Uh, I don't know what's going on today, but I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, we've got Matt Cam over on a... Uh, on a... Uh, one second. How do I get off this? Close this. Close this. Uh... Right. Uh, wow. Are you deaf? These are so loud, these headphones. Have you got your beanie on? I've got my hood up, yeah. Ah, there we go. That's that's fine. Fine. Uh, main studio roof radar. Which one's Macca? Eh? On the uh, stream deck. OB. 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 Hey. And all the things underneath are um, picture in pictures, obviously. Yeah. Brussels Airlines, well, you can really see how, how foggy the camera is because of the rain, you know, the uh, low visibility conditions from this view. Really can't see it on uh, when you're up there on the camera because it's everything's waterproofed up. You should get a remote camera. Yeah, well, when, when uh, it was the pandemic and uh, we had the lockdowns, we were tempted to get a camera that could be operated remotely here. But it's uh, just uh, there were some issues with regulations about having, you know, fixed cameras point, point, pointed at the, uh, the airport, so... Yeah, and the other thing is that the picture quality isn't great on them, guys. They're like posh CCTV cameras, really. Yeah. They're not really designed for broadcasting in the way that we do here on the channel, to be honest. I think my camera's froze, unless he's... Are you still looking at the, uh... Still looking at the... Airlines live So you should plane? see if it's got audio next to it or not. Uh, I don't think so. so there's no audio level next to it. No. <coughs> You have to, you have to do what I just showed you. Then. Is that RTMP thing a, another program? Is I need to open? No, it's already open at the bottom. Oh, I might have closed it then. You just closed. Oh, mate, you could have really damaged the live view there because it it doesn't know that the it just keeps streaming to the destination and because it's, it's not open anymore, it won't stop streaming. Okay. Is 
my phone? Oh, my phone's upstairs. Um, they got radar open here. That's good. It's Logan at ATR 72, heading off to UK. You can really hear the rain on the mics as well. What a dreadful day out there. Yeah, it's not fun, is it? We'll probably keep the stream going for another hour or so, I think. I'll just run down and get Matt. Come on, one second, guys. No worries. Cheers. <laughs> Let's have a look what's on the way in. We've got the Qatar uh, A350 today. Nice. The A350 1000. Coming on in. And that is... Uh, Going to be landing in about half an hour's time. There's not a whole lot after that. So it might be wise to wrap. Not long after that, to be honest, with the just awful conditions today. It definitely doesn't make for a, a great show in terms of visibility. <clears throat> but it's a good show in terms of... Uh, in terms of all the spray, so I think it's going to look really good when this A350 comes in. You still there, Matt, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, you're still here. Cool. Great stuff. Yeah, we've got your feedback on now as well, which is good. Okay. Anything exciting going on on the apron yet? I mean, we had the Jet um, 2 diversion. Is that still on the ground, I guess? Still packed up on the remote, but like, like Martin said, they obviously offloaded all the packs and whatnot, so I don't know what the score is now with that. But they have a replacement aircraft here for them all. I'm not entirely sure, mate. Roger. Not the big red button, Andy. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I know a lot of you guys say, oh, what's Martin doing now? There is a lot going on, guys. There's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. To get this stream working. I promise I'm not just sat there. 
doing nothing. No chance. <laughs> EasyJet, a free 20 coming in from Nice. I was just saying, I think we might wrap today on the uh, Qatar arrival. Okay. Because... Uh, yeah, it's been pretty savage, hasn't it? Yeah, and... Uh, my, uh, am I right in thinking on uh, Friday, the A3 did go out till really late. I think it was something ridiculous. Yeah. It was like... Yeah, I think, the, I think it was around about... An hour, 45, like about a 45 minute hour delay on it, Andy, yeah, correct? Yeah. But it did come in late as well. It did come in about like um, around about an hour late, so yeah. Yep. Ryanair 737 Max 8 200 to Shannon. So the dream might have been pushed back on the boat here as well. Yeah, Matt just catching that to E Delta. Is uh, the reg of the 787 8, and that's got a flight heading off to Montego Bay to E flight 114. Nice uh, heavy departure coming up for you guys. Yeah, and as Andy said before, I think the issue we have today is the direction of the wind as well. It's, uh, it's right on the side, whereas usually we get quite lucky. I think we have it behind us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, today is a bit of a sideways breeze with the rain. It does mean that like the lens is just getting uh, obliterated every time the camera looks to the right. Oh no! And as we were saying last week, side rain. yeah, these cameras are just really put through it every single week here at yeah. Manchester, and yeah. huge yeah. props to Sony because I know we do shout Sony out a lot, but. I'm not being funny, guys. We have these cameras out in the rain twice a week, and we've had them for a few years now, and they're just rock solid. Been through it all. Yeah. What I'm probably going to do today is um, take a lot of this equipment home and just use that as an opportunity to dry it all out. Yeah, I think we're going to need to mate, after today. Because I think what happened last time with the, the fog issue on the lens is... If you don't dry the camera out, it'll just fog up. King of the Skies on stand there as well. Emirates A380. It's so cool being in, in this uh, studio and seeing all the different cameras as well. So I'm just making a mess of this one, but I'm just trying to rebalance this because it keeps dropping down. Managed to bag myself a bargain from Marks and Spencer's yesterday. Sunday roast for two for twelve pounds. Hey, Meats, that's good. Two sides. Um, nice one, Joanna. I've heard Marks and Spencer's all right actually for a uh, for for deals like that. Yeah, twelve quid. That's really good. Obviously, if you went on uh, eating out for a meal or something, you'd be spending you know a lot more than that. <laughs> And um, we got a donation came in from Hayden uh, with a two pounds. Says great stream. Uh, the rain brings in the atmosphere. Legends. Thank you, Hayden. Yeah, we're, we're no stranger to, to rainy conditions here at Manchester with, with just how it is. Uh, we tend to just plan for everything, you know, prepare for everything. If, if our live stream can withstand the rain, then it'll be fine. Um, it's certainly a challenge. Uh, waterproofing up all the cables and waterproofing up all the the wires and ourselves of course yeah. uh, my arm is still drenched <laughs> but you know shots like when the touchdown and a big spray gets kicked up makes it a little bit worth it yeah i was saying earlier on that's why that's where i went a moment ago like all my waterproofing is in the car in the boot all the time now oh yeah 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 that's like oh, you know what Let's go and grab it. Wow, just Mac cam when you can like get a close up of these aircraft. This Virgin Atlantic A330, you can just see the pouring rain on the ground. 
And Fiona, thank you so much. Gifting and membership to the community. Thank you very much, guys. All your support does really help towards keeping the channel going. It certainly lifts our spirits as well on a day like today. Thank you very much, guys, for all of your support today. And uh, Sebastian returning for four months of business class membership. Thank you very much for supporting the stream today. Thank you. That is crazy. This was uh, a lot more rain than anyone could expect today. Cheers, Phil. Philip Stevens. Appreciate that, mate. And is anyone in the chat new to the channel, by the way? If you've just tuned in today for the first time or recently found the channel, we're always super interested to know. Is this aircraft holding on the runway? It's been there a while, eh? It's not a runway inspection going on. No, this is uh, Ryanair heading up to Warsaw. That's uh, actually one of the uh, Ryanair UK aircraft, UK Bravo. Hmm. It's got strobes on, obviously, because it's on the runway. Oh, there we go. It's going now. Just starting there, just seeing all the people out in the rain there, having a great time <laughs> <laughs> on that camp. <laughs> Last uh, bit of luggage being unloaded, unloaded onto the Virgin 330 <laughs> We also had Joan with the One Airlines Live gifted membership as well. Hey, cheers, Joan. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, here's that Tui Dreamliner on a taxi out. That'll be visible on main cam in about a minute's time, minute or two. Now taxiing all the way from Terminal 2. Like I said earlier in the show, T2 is a lot longer of a taxi uh, from the stand to the runway than uh, Terminal 1 or 3. And if you've ever wondered what equipment we use on the stream, guys, our brand new command in the chat, exclamation mark gear, will uh, take you to our Amazon affiliate link that shows you uh, a lot of the equipment we use on our live stream. If anyone is uh, is interested. Definitely a lot on there. There's even things like uh, gloves that we use, the boots that I wear, <laughs> um, and just like things we use for traveling. Waterproofing, live stream, studio gear, the lot. Yeah, we even have all our podcasts set up and stuff as well on there for anyone who's interested. Oh, nice one there, Dean. Uh, let us know how you get on with it, mate. I know, on my camera, you can just see how thick the rain is now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty gnarly, mate. Pretty gnarly. Mate, he's nice and dry underneath the uh, the A330 there. Yeah, he's chilling under there, isn't he? Listen, I'm <laughs> nice and dry underneath here. I've got he's about got 19 right layers on. My airliner's live hat on. Yeah. Nice and toasty up here. <laughs> yeah, look and, at uh, it. And Alan saying, hi, lads. I'm a BBC TV camera supervisor um, out on the broadcast in Glasgow in weather like yous. Uh, we now routinely carry battery operated hair dryers for demisting foggy lenses mate wow. i'm not even joking that happened to us last week for the first time as i uh i, I can't even tell if we're in focus now because yeah we are now. I've, I've got a bag over the uh screen um but yeah we're, we're having a bit of issue with that mate because the cameras are starting to get a little bit old now but um these seem to be holding up all right today yeah great to have you with us though of course, the lens of the camera needs to be out in the elements. So that's getting uh, pretty drenched. It's always cool to have uh, camera operators in the chat. Tell us how bad we're doing. <laughs> right now. Uh, Flight 6880, 
coming in from Copenhagen. It's a Max H200 737. I'm just going to pan the camera away from the uh, wind, guys. There's a Tui Dreamliner taxis out. Not a bad excuse. Yeah, definitely not. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to check if you've got any Twitch Primes available, guys. Be able to help the channel out. Hit that sub goal. I know we have a lot of lurkers on Twitch. So we'll be wrapping up soon, folks. Uh, we've got a couple of movements left. Um, we've got the Tui Dreamliner here taxiing out. That's going off to Montego Bay. Uh, we've got two special heavy arrivals coming in as well. Um, first of all, will be a Saudi Dreamliner. That's actually not far away, to be fair. No new schemes today, I guess. No, sadly not. Oh, man. And then we'll have the ultimate uh, heavy arrival, which is about 15, 20 minutes away, something like that. Just cool. over, uh, just about to go over Leicester at the moment in, in the Midlands. Uh, and that's the Qatar Airways A350-1000. I think that's going to be a spectacular landing to wrap the Super Sunday show up on. And the next sort of major movements after that will be the King of the Skies, but that usually doesn't go out till about 2 p.m. <laughs> you can come and film one of my wet Friday night Scottish football. Listen, mate. I'm gonna I'm gonna thank you for the offer and politely decline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm busy that night, sorry, I've made plans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry mate. <laughs> I've always like wanted to do to to like broadcast a sport event. Yeah, I'd love to do something like hockey or something. Yeah, that'd be really fun that like working with commentators and having all different views, maybe like replays and stuff. We have got potentially something in the works for next year, folks, in the summer of like some kind of uh, event, shall we say, uh, that may happen live stream wise. Chuck's being removed from the A330 version. Amazing. We did discuss actually having a, an airliners live football match with the Beluga guys. Yes. Well, that's going back a few years, isn't it? Yeah, and then maybe doing like a uh, like a five aside little little game, but you could you could live stream it. Yeah, I'll manage the live stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys, I'll, I'll operate live stream dibs. Dibs. But I, I'd... you're going in goal. Nah, mate, can't can't run the live stream from the goal. Sorry. I'd be down to do that. Imagine I was having like proper training sessions and stuff, and proper give like giving a rest. Training like, sessions. Having like a coach, you know. So, right. Warm up. You know, sometimes <laughs> you just need to stop. You know, you know when you're on live streams and you accidentally commit to these things. <laughs> <laughs> like having red shades. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Have a conversation first. <laughs> it's just before you sign me up to six weeks intensive training camp for a five or five tournament. <laughs> Where's the... Ollie will play. Yeah, we'd, we, if we were to do it, we would need some uh, actual people who can't play because uh, I don't want to be that guy I don't want to have that pressure <laughs> love on Matt you just uh, Matt's just tracking this one chap <laughs> he's just wandering around getting in the rain soaked. getting soaked yeah <laughs> He does not look like a happy chap. <laughs> well, maybe let's not put him on a live stream. Then. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look impressed. No. Looks like me when I was up on the camera. How have you got a shot of me from all the way over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. I think like you, Andy, I think once you once you get wrapped up, it's kind of, once you're wet, yeah. it doesn't really matter you're after wet. that, you know yeah. what I mean, you're just, you're just wet. Yeah, just after a few hours, it starts to really, really make you feel cold. <laughs> Tui Dreamliner next to the part, and Matt's caught the pushback of the Q8 A330s, 200 series. 
Nice. Wow. Nice one, Mr. Pingu. Thank you very much for your incredible gifted memberships earlier on as well. Have a great day, mate. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Captain Marks and manager with a kit sponsored by Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have Greg's on the front, Emery Wesson's and Sony on the back. Could you imagine? They had their own sponsor. Two each reminder heading off to Montego Bay. 787-8. rotation you see that wings really flexing as we cut over to Macam catching the pushback of the Airbus A330 with Q8 look how soaking wet the apron is that's me Same with the taxiway there with the Ryanair. Should catch this departing, which is great. We caught this arriving earlier on in the show. Any heating in the RVP tower? There is a, a heater, but it's not very good. And it definitely does not do anything when you're up on the camera. Certainly better than no heater. Yeah. Ryanair Buzz coming in from Prague. Yeah, Malcolm saying that uh Malcolm saying that the 330 got turned around quick. I, I thought mm. that too. Hey Annika, thanks for gifting a membership as well, Annika. Thank you very much. What does that put us on, Andy? There should be another tab there open. We are on. Wow, 58 new members. Incredible. Thank you, everyone. 58. Absolute legends. Loads of love and support coming in today. Way over 2,000 still watching as well. Really appreciate that, folks. This is Virgin Atlantic A330. Pushes back on Terminal 2. Over there with the Q8 A330 as well. Wow. Thank you, Dean. Just saying uh, thanks, guys. The work you do means that people like myself who are disabled can't really get to see the aircraft in real life much thank you mate that's one of the main reasons why we love doing what we do because there are a lot of people who can't make it down to the airport so it's great to be able to uh, to bring you guys the stream wow just watching this pushback on my cab of the virgin a330 great stuff she'll be heading off to bridgetown barbados I think uh, one of Sam's colleagues will be on this flight tomorrow with Virgin. Another nightmare. Or not. No worries. And a huge membership drop in the chat. Again from Mr. Pingu. Hey, thank you, mate. Gifted five Airliners Live memberships. Wow. On top of the uh, huge support from earlier, I think he dropped in 10 earlier on. Thank you very much, mate. I think uh, this remote's got wet. Oh, no. It's died. We've killed another remote, guys. Oh. There's another 20 quid gone. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, there, is a, there might be a spare at the back, but, I mean, it's, we're almost... Oh, just, I'll just hand do it. Yeah, yeah, we are near the end, aren't we? 
That's a shame, it's, it's survived this long. I'm just going to adjust this setup, guys, one second, because I need the camera a bit closer to me if I'm no going to do there's a, there's a lot going on at Matcam at the moment, so we're, we're enjoying all the apron action. This version of Atlantic's now just uh, completing its pushback. That uh, truck at the front of the aircraft is uh, going to be disconnected shortly. I love how it's lined up nicely with the uh, the airliners live <laughs> plane, which uh, I can assure you folks definitely is not owned by us. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Has it got a British reg on it? Has it? Or I don't think so. I think it's multi. Maltese, is it? Yeah, nine nine hotel. Yeah. Well, let's see how yeah, I do Maltese. on this. Nine hotel Microsoft Flight Simulator. There you go. MFS. Here we go. Air Lingus ATR 72 heading back to Dublin. Gear pins have just been uh, shown to the flight deck. Wow, what a show today's been, though. There's just so much going on. I'm really excited to get home and watch this back. And also the pushback of the uh, Virgin as well. Tug has been disconnected. Like I mentioned earlier, this plane's off to Bridgetown, Barbados. Now got a visual of the Saudi Dreamliner coming in next to land. 787-9 uh, today. Sometimes they send in the Dash 10. Still no sign of the new scheme here on the streams yet. You and Matt have both seen it, haven't you, Martin? Yeah. I'm, I've still not even yeah, seen yeah. it in it's person. Beautiful. Yeah. Super hyped. It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think the gear pins have just been removed from the Virgin now as well, so it shouldn't be too long. Nice. I wonder if we should be able to catch this around the same time as the Qatar A350 arrives. Will Saudi grease this landing as they so often do? Not a lot of power being used on the reverse, is there? Must have known I was recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's done a good job of stopping. Amy saying, I uh, just want to say how much it's appreciated you guys being out in this awful weather. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it, Amy. Amy. Love how they punch through the clouds. Yeah, I noticed that on that uh, Saudi then. There was a big cloud it hit, hit through, and you could really see it in the trail. Uh, and Aiden saying, it's been fantastic show. I love uh, how wet... Uh, a murky uh, the weather is great spray dramatic and amazing how operations just carry on as normal yeah they they do a great job here at manchester as you're seeing the uh the crew on the apron uh you know having to endure being out in the rain and not so fun conditions g crow on the uh is that on the premier terminal is it mm. Just this Virgin Atlantic A330 taxis out now. Nice prompt turnaround process there. Speaking to a, a chap the other day uh, who used to be one of the cleaners who used to work at Manchester Airport and used to clean on board the likes of the Virgin Atlantic aircraft as well as PIA back in the day when they were flying here. Said he used to love that job. <laughs>
Yeah, sorry if the uh, zooms aren't the best now, guys. We're doing it on the actual camera rather than with the remote now. It's all good. Because the remote has uh, had enough, I think, of the rain. I think, Matt, after these two go out, I think you might as well uh, wrap because I don't think there's much else going out. Unless there's a, like a, I guess, maybe a Tui Dreamliner or something. But we're probably going to wrap it after uh, these two departures and the Qatar arrival, which is now on the approach, actually. Huge thank you to anyone who's sent in support today, as always. Thanks, everyone. And especially for those who have just stuck around, watched, got involved in the chat. And a bonus if you guys hit the like button as well. Because that really adds up and makes a big difference. Lights on now on the taxiway as well. Yeah, it's really grim, isn't it? Really grim day. I'm definitely a man of two halves now. <laughs> but uh, perfectly right hand side of me is soaked and the left hand side is uh, like I've never been out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My jacket's the same. Left hand <laughs> side is bone dry. You have to flip over and stand backwards for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a slice of toast. Yeah, you always get that toaster, don't you? That does really well on one side and <laughs> nothing on the other. I always had like toasters that they they would never be consistent. Sometimes, like when, when if you do toast and then another batch after, that would be cooking a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the first one takes ages. Matt Cam just picking up the pushback of the Sun Express seven eight sorry seven three seven dash eight, also known as a Max. But yeah, the RVP is interesting these days because days like today, it's pretty quiet. And um, But some days, you know, it'll be like this and then this, it'll become quite sunny in the afternoon. And we'll be driving out and there'll be a queue to get in. Like it, it does get, it fluctuates a lot, yeah. the people here. Yeah, great job, Matt, so far. Like I said, uh, after these go out, you're more than welcome to start packing up. I don't think it makes a huge difference for you if you're already out of the rain and stuff. But there is this lovely shot of this Sun Express pushing back. I do like how they use that stand because we get such a good view of it. Might get a bit of a smoky engine start as well. Yeah, we will dry the remote out. Yeah, uh, start strongly. It's, uh, when they dry out, they usually just start working again. Yeah. Jeanette McKenzie saying amazing stream today, guys. Loved it. Thank you, Jeanette. Cheers, Jeanette. Just really appreciate you guys tuning in, of course. That's the main thing. Great viewer numbers today. Yeah, it's been really good, hasn't it? Yeah. There's that really, really nice looking Q8 A330. Qatar A350 is now on final approach. It's going to be a good minute or so before we uh, see visual on that. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, yeah on, on a clear day, you'd, you'd see right up the approach here at Manchester. About to leave, head over to the RVP for some spotting, actually. Nice. Hope you have a great day. Bring an umbrella. Yeah, definitely. Bring your snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, I do see occasionally in shops, like, wetsuits. And I'm like... I know it's memes, but... You have the thought, don't you? Yeah, no joke. That would actually be a, a good idea. I l yo, I love that engine. Kicking up a bit of a... A bit of power there. You can see it on the ground. Look at that right-hand engine. I think they just started number one there as well, so... Cheers, Fanny. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bring your pink shorts, yeah. Something in them pink shorts, isn't it? <laughs> Can't believe I've seen that guy. 
Probably the same as us, like you say, once you're wet, you're wet, aren't you? Yeah. Get yourself to decathlon. Well, she Kev, returning for 33 months. Then just popping in to say hi. Hope yeah. you guys warm up later. Uh, and what's the final amount on the charity? It was about 12,500, mate. Yeah, 12,757 uh, 12, it was. Yeah. Easy number to remember. I think that was that with gift aid, I think. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank yeah. you very, very much, mate, for supporting the stream for 33 months long term supporter of the channel. Thank you, Welshie. Yeah, uh, and thank you for sending in the um, the models as well. Uh, they did get won and claimed as well. So I really appreciate that, Welshie. Th things like that really do help. They do. You know, in terms of uh, raising as much as possible. Flight control check on the Virgin A330 now. That taxi's out. Uh, yeah, Matt, your feed's gone off. So, do you want to just use that as a, uh, I guess, the battery? Did that battery go off or something? Yeah, battery just collapsed, mate. I'm from 30% then. <laughs> no worries. Um, do you want to just wrap it there then, oh, in terms of Matt Cam? Because, like I said, I don't think there's anything else crazy happening anyway. Because we'll be, we'll be wrapping soon anyway. It means we could just get you picked up ASAP. ASAP Rocky. But yeah, huge shout out uh, to Matt. Thank you for today. Uh, well it's been, done, mate. been a really, 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 really good stream, actually, in terms of the apron action. It's been really busy. Well done to you, boys. Brave in the elements, as I've been under this cover. Well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark, Martin's up on the camera now. Yes. Uh... Flight control check from the Sun Express. Quick one here. Nice. And this Malta Air, there's a Malta Air right at the front there. You can just see it in the picture. That's heading off to Bologna. It's a strange route, that, for Malta Air, Manchester to Bologna. That would usually just be done by a regular Ryanair 737. Have you got visual on this guitar yet? Just about to see it. Oh, yeah, just about. Yeah. And it's the Qatar Airways A350-1000. Arguably the absolute highlights of today's show, this beautiful aircraft. So happy that Qatar is sending in the Airbus Super Airliners, shall we say? I believe that's what they call them. Let's get a record of this, I think. What a beauty. The A350-1000, largest of the A350 variants. Looking really nice in the Qatar colors. There is a Virgin Atlantic going to be taking off shortly. I think it's going to be number two to depart. Just behind a Malta Air, which is already on the runway. The Virgin A330 is heading off to Bridgetown. Oops, sorry, guys. Beautiful aircraft. 
aircraft at Malta Air. 737 MAX 8 200. And there's the Qatar. What a beautiful plane. That is so pretty. Yeah, it's a really, really nice airline. And we had the Singapore Airlines A350 go out earlier in the show, and the noise from that, something else. It's definitely in a league of its own when it's compared to the other modern airliners. In terms of noise. Interestingly, that Q8 is not on radar. Unless, All right. Unless it's just the filters causing that. But yeah, uh, no, it's not. Uh, shouldn't be. Yeah, so we'll catch up on the Virgin, and then we'll wrap up the show for your Super Sunday today, folks. Go and rescue Matt from the the apron area there. Yeah, bear in mind, no, Matt. We need a few minutes to pack and dry and everything up here. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah. I can always go and grab a Greg. So don't you worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes the Q8, A330, heading back to Q8 City. And she's already disappearing into the clouds. Gosh, my zoom, I didn't want to work then. <laughs> oh, I was no. like, I was pressing, like, come on, zoom, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a bit of a one more plane vibe going on here. We've got just uh, an easy jet touching down. Just <laughs> how many easy jets can you see there? All the orange. We do find that the, the orange of these planes pops a lot on the Manchester grey. Definitely need an A330 emote. We've, we've discussed this a few times. We just don't want to put another emote in. That's just text. But the problem with the A330 is there's no defining visual thing I can put into an emote. Yeah, it's, it's it need, you know, it's hard. Because the emotes on YouTube, they're only 32 by 32 pixels, which is tiny. <laughs> So to get any detail is pretty tough. A320 Neo coming in from uh, Reykjavik. EasyJet flight 2260. Nice big Leap 1A engines on the Airbus A320 Neo. Four year old airframe. Virgin's lined up, ready to go. Virgin flight 77, 
A330 300 series. That was worth sticking around for. Awesome sound from the Virgin A330. Folks, what a show. What a show that was. Thank you all for sticking around with us and tuning into the Airliners Live Super Sunday show. Cheers, Martin, for jumping on the camera there at the end. No worries. Doing a great job, actually. And thank you to Matt Smith, Mr. Matt Cam Smith, for... Uh, Broadcasting over on the Terminal One car park. Legend. My pleasure, chaps. Cheers, everyone. Thank you, everyone, to who, who donated, who supported, who hit the like button today. Uh, we gained 63 new members wow. today. 63. Crazy. New VIP members. Massive thank you to everyone who, who donated and supported and became members and gifted members. Of course, that's a, a huge way to. To support the stream, Ryanair seven three seven just uh, touching down. This is just coming from Brussels, Charleroi. Next stream is tomorrow evening, folks, and that will be on the Airliners Live Simulate channel. So that's over on Simulate by Airliners Live. Go and check it out. It'll be six p.m. tomorrow, Monday evening, flight night with John Fezzer, and then the next live show will be on Wednesday from about 11 a.m. here at Manchester Airport. Thank you all for tuning in today, though. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting you all. I know Henry's away for a little while now. He's on uh, vacation, as they call it. And uh, we'll see you all next time here on Airliners Live. I've been Andy. Martin's been up on the camera. Thank you very much. Nice one, guys. So cheers for all the support as well. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Cheers, see guys. Bye. -bye. See ya, mate. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> oh, mate, stop raining. Sun's out. Yeah, see ya, people. Bye. <laughs>